Hi. <coughs> Hi. And telling you. Hi. <coughs> So, hi, show cow. Hi. <coughs> hi. I'm telling you. I'm not sure how long I'll be live today, but I'm using my laptop today. Yeah, hi, Fernando. Hi, uh... Voyant, Kayla. Hi, Kayla. Joey one. Hi. I know I don't do these that much, but I mean, yeah. Hi, Will M. Hi. Oh, and I remember seeing that avatar somewhere. Yes. Hi. No, Chris Diaz, hi. It's all good. Not bad. Victor Campos, I know you anywhere. <laughs> I know you think you lived in, um, it's your neighbor, love your video. Are you, oh, you're the one that lives just down the street of me, huh? <laughs> Pink Panther, hi. Time Traveler, I'm telling you, I am. Buttermaker, hi. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. How's the family? They're all good, we're all good. It's funny because I'm looking this way because I'm looking at the comments on the screen there. And I'm using the computer today. So, yeah. Let me see. <clears throat> uh, Darren, hi. I'm doing good. So everything's fine. I know I haven't really been um, putting up videos that uh, as often as I want to. I mean, lagging sort of. I'm telling you. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm using my uh, laptop. So, yeah. I mean, it's probably easier, I would say. Kayla. What have you been up to? I haven't been much. I've just still been working and playing, I guess. Well, we went over to uh, to a beach last week, which is kind of fun. Because it was my kid's birthday, and, and uh, she wanted to go somewhere, so we went somewhere for her birthday. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, my dad died. I visited my dad died not that long ago. Just because I hadn't seen my dad in a long time. I think we're probably going to see my dad dad this um, Father's Day. It, it looks pretty obvious that we're going to go there for Father's Day. Caleb. Elvin Lee, hi. <clears throat> So, Chris Diaz, I guess Nintendo Switch, I guess since they came out, huh? Seven years old, huh? Kayla, yep, it's nice seeing the video with their brothers and dada. Oh, yeah, I mean, I want to visit my dada a little bit more, but I just want to be invited to it, though. Are you going to have any Easter videos this year? Well, I mean, it's imaginable. Well, I probably upload one from 2004, I mean, which is 20 years ago. Victor Campos. My son Justin said hi, huh? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Did you ever sell one of... No. I don't plan on selling any vehicles at this moment. 
Because I just want to wait to be sure. I mean, if I really want to. I'm telling you. Leonardo Nelson said, what are my political views? Well, you know what my political views is like no politics at all. I mean, I don't want to. I'm just not. I'm not any into any politics. You know, I'm just not. And I just want to go out and ride my bike and ride alongside of the beach or something, you know, with several of y'all. <laughs> Ryan, Rand, hi. Rick Dastardly, hi. Voyant, it was cool to see all your brothers together again. Well, yeah, it's fun. I love those days when I could do that, you know. Emmanuel, hi. Danalog video. Have you ever used a camera with the newbie cam? NubiCon tube sensor. Well, I've I've you I actually actually own a um a camcorder with a tube sensor. I do have one, but right now it just it doesn't want to work anymore. I haven't tried to use it lately, but I I've, I've used one actually. I mean, it's interesting on how they work, but because like the the way the images um appears a bit different than the the ones with the ccd sensors because you know like if you point the lens at a bright light it's gonna make a little streak of light and, and it's gonna make a trail of light following that bright object you know yeah it does that that's a, it's that's an interesting way that it does but that's just how it is i mean those camcorders with the tube sensors instead of a Solid state one. And then uh, Brittany Moore High. Was life better in 1989 than it is now? Well, if I was going to give a quick answer to that, I mean, in, in some ways, yes. But in other ways, it's not exactly. I mean, well, if I was going to say what was better about it, is that it was more simpler. Well, uh, things were more, life was a bit more simpler. And we didn't have all the drama that we have with Facebook and all that stuff. But there was drama in the, in the 80s. Only thing, so the thing that's different is that we didn't have Facebook to display all the drama back then, you know. But it's all, it, people had to keep the drama to themselves, basically, in the 80s. But anyway, it's, I mean. And today's times, it's just too complicated with technology and stuff, you know. And then, the, and then how people are, the attitudes are real different in today's times. It's just not the same, you know. And an anonymous user said, "Hi, <clears throat> hey Gil, did you listen to any metal eighties of so <clears throat> metal? Well, my brother loved heavy metal, and to name a few, Scorpions." And what's another one that we like? Well, I, we liked Judas Priest, and and we liked um, ACDC, particularly Back in Black. And then the other the, the album next to that one, it was um, For Those About to Rock. And then the album Dio, I remember Dio. I still have all of those records. Judas Pri Priest, Iron Maiden. I still have all of those records that we had when we were kids. We still have those LPs, the records. I still have them. Emmanuel, I'm a Raiders fan. Like, yeah, I guess my Hector, my brother is a Raiders fan. Will M, you should stream more often. I think I want to do that. I mean, I should. Vic Chavez, remember the JVC camcorders? Well, Oh, yeah, I sure did. I mean, yeah, Vic Chavez, you're the one from Rialto, right? <laughs> the one that used to live close to my mom somewhere, like the mobile home, which my mom is not living in anymore. <clears throat> Unreal Snow. Hi. What do I miss about my 19, well, my 20s, well, when I was 20 years old? What do I miss? Well, I mean, like, like feeling more energy, I guess. I mean. 
feeling more energy, I suppose. Well, like the 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 health of a 20 year old versus a 53 year old, you know, like I got aches and pains, but it's okay. I'm okay though. I'm fine. Cause I'm 53 right now. And well, things are somewhat starting to break down on me, but it's not, but I mean, I could feel it. I mean, coming, you know, but it's, and I'm okay though. I'm fine. I just exercise and I just don't feel exactly the same as I did when I was 20 naturally naturally or i mean we have more energy when we're younger <laughs> ac hi oh you're fr- oh i remember i know you adam cole huh <laughs> adam cole big chavez judas priest i remember i mean i i like the, their music judas priest analog video do you still use that eight millimeter camcorder that got oh yeah i'm still using it right now yeah, it's like a it's a sing a screenless one. I'm still using it. I mean, it's fun to use those things. An animus user. Judas Priest is my favorite. Awesome. Taylor said what which brother loves heavy metal? It's Hector, my bigger. Why Arnold too? I mean hi uh, Cole Richie. An animus user. That's sick. Awesome. Very good. Unreal snow. Where were you on September? 11th? I, I was. I had just bought a mobile home back then, and I just barely moved in like a week ago. And that mobile home, I was living in the mobile home. I actually have a video of of me of my reaction to the September 11th. AK five six two high. This year's been pretty good to me. So you say best year so far, huh? Well, it's so it's pretty good to me. I'm I'm happy with this year. Christie's man in two weeks is gonna be April already. Wow, well, yeah, in April already. <laughs> Kayla, how uh, how is it like without your mom? Well, I mean, I mean we're kind of used to it right now, I suppose. I mean we're used to it. I mean, hi, Neville, Neville Star. Well, we're used to it. I mean, Jeffrey. <clears throat> I quit my warehouse job a few days ago. It was draining. Yeah, so I work in a warehouse right now. I'm telling you, I drive a high reach truck. I mean, it's kind of fun to operate the machine sometimes. Yeah, Vic Chavez. Yeah, a lot of people don't like those warehouse jobs, you know. But for me, what choice do I? Got? I have to work. Alvin Lee. Yeah, I live. Two blocks away from, yeah, huh? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I remember you saying that, uh, Chavez. What What did Sushi say to the B? Alvin Lee said, I have no idea. M. Raham 83. Hey, Gil. Oh, you're from Florida, huh? Telling you, Unreal Snow, anything you could have told your younger self that you know now? Damn. 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 <laughs> Well, that's a complicated thing to that's a complicated thing to answer at this minute. But if I could say to my younger, if I had anything to say, let's see, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that question so I could probably make a a video of a, make a video of it. Let me see. Thing. <clears throat> what well, would I have told my younger self that you know now? Shit. <laughs> That that I would I have to make a video of that question. Will and do you play video? I still do. I mean, once in a while. Well, and it's the Xbox that. I, well, I'm gonna play some of the retro games. Uh, JD one eighty seven. Hi, what do you think about the current state of KKK? Now I'm not exactly sure what that is. KKK. But let me see. Emmanuel Gilbert, have you ever been to a nightmare in Elm Street? No, I never had never driven that way before. So yeah. Elvin Lee. Do the sushi said to the bee. What did the sushi wasabi? <laughs> isn't that isn't that um I know wasabi. I know those little show that Roy Berg makes and Alex, you know, that's from like 10 years ago, like the, the little videos that 
they post. <laughs> I know them. I know that. I know that person. Chavez, do you ever use your night vision on the Tempanasana compound? No, I never tried to do that. Well, I know I do that with the 8 millimeter, the Sony 8 millimeters. Vic Chavez, yeah, well, we have a nice guitar. Well, thank you. What kind of music do I listen? I like I like mostly things like Chicago from the 80s and 70s. Pete. Hey, Gail, is your mom liking life in Mexico? Oh, yeah, she, she's really happy over there. She's really happy. It's very peaceful, no drama, nothing. That, that's got to be nice, man. <clears throat> Emmanuel. That's a nice sofa. Well, yeah, well, yeah, I like I like this sofa. This is a recliner. It's a recliner. You see that? Yeah. I'm telling you. Hang on. So, any Easter plans? We should probably have a little Easter plan here. <laughs> Cole Ritchie, the music universe asked me. Cole Ritchie. What what was the song playing at the beginning of the high school video you had? Oh well, if I can remember that, what what did I have my stereo like in the video? If I have if I had my stereo in the video, I was playing the song um, uh, <clears throat> fantasy girl house version house dub version or house mix. It's called the the version as house music version, you know. Murder side, hi. Vic Chavez, it's better to let life happen. Yeah, I'm telling you. Eric B. Gilby is uh, in the M house. <laughs> I like it. Robert Tover, hi. Hi, Tover. IDK, what happened to your Xbox 360? Uh, I I put that away. I I have it. I mean, I put that away because we're using the Xbox One right now. I I haven't even really been using that much that much either. But will and what games do I play? Well, if I play any games, I like like I like mostly the retro ones, <clears throat> the old ones. It's mostly old ones that I do. But I, I like the games like Mario Brothers, too. I mean, well, that's on the Switch. Charlie Brown says, hi. Sometimes those warehouse jobs are good and bad, but you get your exercise and Well, I sure do. I mean, I, I got my exercise in there. I mean, I don't mind. I mean, I got to work somewhere, right? <laughs> I'm telling you. New Nevis Neville Star. I've been bringing, bringing a bunch of your videos. Oh, thank you very much. And I've been and I've been loving them a lot, man. Especially the new. Oh yeah. Wow, uh, there's a lot more where that came from right here on this channel. Uh, thank you for your comment. Emmanuel Gilbert, what car would you like to own now? I like cars that are simple without all that stupid technology all that stupid and uh, complicated um turbo charger I, I like things that are simple like plain i just want a plain car i mean not with all the stupid technology that that has just more that's just gonna be more things to break you know like i like a simple car that just it's a simple four cylinder or something that's easy to work on and will last a long time my kia I like my Kia. I mean, it's it's simple. It's not it's not one of those cars that has turbo chargers and all that crap, you know. And it doesn't have all these little like things like electronic parking brakes and all that crap. You know? And I was like, I just like something simple. I mean, like my Kia, it, it's a stick shift. I like a car with a stick. I mean, I prefer cars with a stick because it's different. I mean. Cause, and then and then I like the roll up windows. I'm 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 one hundred percent good with a roll up window car. Yeah. <clears throat> Where's the Mercury? Oh, I have it in the garage. It's parked in the garage with a cover on it. Danalog video. Have you heard of Beavis and Butthead? Oh yeah, sure. I mean, <laughs> they're kind of funny. Those characters are funny, man. I'm telling you, man. Beavis and Butthead, the cartoon. 
and and the uh, one of those guys always has an ACDC shirt on. <laughs> That's funny, man. Uh, Richard Gunder, what camera will I use at Claris's graduation? It'd probably be just my phone. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, it'd probably be just my phone. I mean, or or I don't really have any other fancy camera. I would I would be using the three sixty camera as well for sure. Josh Fernandez, I've been good. I mean, yeah, ninety three D A J. Do you like house music or free? I I love house music. I like deep house, especially from the nineties. Nineties deep house music. Hi, Yolly. I'm good. You Venus. Hi. Do you still have your truck car? Did you? No, I still have it. I don't really have any plan for selling it yet, unless somebody was gonna offer me it. Unless somebody had cash on their hand or something, and 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 if it was gonna be an easy sell. If it was going to be an easy sell, then maybe, maybe I would. But otherwise, I don't really plan on selling the thing, you know, because I'm good. I, I once in a while want to have a truck, and I once in a while need it. I mean, you so, I mean, I, I, I like to have it just in case I need it. And sometimes I do need a truck sometimes, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, King Nacho Man. Are you the original Nacho Man? <laughs> Will M, do you have, do I play Fortnite? Well, not really. Let me see. I, I hadn't played. I never played that game. 93 DA said, was there any gangs in the area? And then, well, that, I think there's gangs everywhere, really. I mean, <coughs> there's, well, there's everywhere. I mean, they're everywhere. But we did get a lot of them at my mom's old house in Fontana. We did get some. Yeah, well, and they, and even in the Covina house too. Not not the West Covina, but the Covina. We had some of them back then, you know. Oh yeah, back in the eighties, you know. Vic Chavez, <clears throat> Gil got some videos of his friends catching. Oh yeah. <laughs> and Manuel, do I like BMW or Mercedes? Well, I'm not. I'm not really into those cars that much. In all honesty, you know. Man, they, I mean, I can, I would imagine that they're pretty nice. I mean, I never tried to drive one before. I know I had I had coworkers who had one. I mean, they're pretty fancy cars, you know. But I mean, I I would be afraid when they break. When they break, it'd be expensive to fix those things when they break, you know. Hi, BB fan, yar, <laughs> King Nacho man. <clears throat> what I gonna let me see. That mu that music universe. That any advice to high schooler graduating this year? Well, I mean, I mean that's another complicated question, and I probably should and make that I should answer that question in a video. In fact, I'll try. I'll try to make myself make a video based on those questions. That that's a good, like basing it on some of these good questions, you know. <clears throat> well, any advice I would give to high schoolers graduating this year? Hmm. I cannot think of any off the bat, off my mind, but I could think, you know, like, well, let me see. Uh, well, it's hard. I have, I have to think about it really good and then make another video about it. And I mean, <clears throat> hi, on Dean. Chris McRae, hi. King Nacho Man. Vic Chavez, your anxiety is not as bad. No, it's not. Well, it, the weather doesn't really do anything to my anxiety level. It's just any situation that arises. But then again, I mean, any situation, you know, certain. I, I try to do everything I can to keep prevent coming across any situation that can cause me to have anxiety, you know. But I haven't had a, had a, lot, a, lot, a lot lately. Hi, Anna Monica. Hi, Dorian. Don Raymond. Hi. Do I have a PlayStation 5? Apparently, we don't. King Nacho. Uh, yes, it's me, Gil. Have you heard of anything from that? <laughs> I haven't heard. Well, I, I, I 
heard from him like not too long ago on one of my lives, you know, but I think he changed his name though. Ed Ubinus, how's Heckler liking his new, he, he loves it there. I mean, Heckler's pretty happy in his new house. He's happy there. Eric B, blood, bloods and chips. I'm telling you. Anna Monica Valisuela. Do you know I still listen? You know I still listen to cassette on 1994 Astro Van. Right. Oh yeah, the cassette. Well, yeah, a lot of those older cars have have um cassette players. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Josh Fernandez. How do I feel about? Entering my 60, well, I have to brace myself, you know, <laughs> uh, health-wise. But I just want to be sure that that I'm doing the things that I can to keep myself in good condition, you know. Well, I would just keep doing the, um, I would just keep riding my bike and going to the gym and everything. I'll just keep doing that. And you know, like as I get older and older, I, I I have to watch the calories and I have to watch what I eat more and more. So that's what I would say the difference between being 20 and 53. I mean, you have to, I mean, you, your body starts like breaking down a bit or it starts getting old and you have to watch it die. You have to watch it more and more. I mean, yeah, but I, I, I got to make a video about this, you know. I mean, that's, I, I made a video about it the other time about my age, about like how it feels to be older and stuff. I got to make a I make a video about that. I mean, a separate video about how it feels to be 54, you know, like, well, one of the first things I say on how it feels to be 54 is the health aspect of it. I mean, like, um, well, I mean, like, like we don't feel we don't feel the same. Like we don't have as much energy, and we have more aches and pains the older that we get. You know that's natural. You know, analog video, Jan, William. I have a 2016 Frontier four cylinder and manual everything, manual window. Well, those are good cars. I mean, as according to Scott Man, anyway, or Scotty Kilmer, <laughs> I listen to that guy all the time, you know, information, you know. According to him, those are good cars. I mean, Nissan Frontier. And I wouldn't mind having one of those. And I wouldn't mind even replacing the F-150 that I have now with that truck, you know, with manual everything. Yeah, I would love a manual everything, you know, and transmission. I would love to have a truck like that. I mean, yeah manual everything you know yeah i mean oh yeah big time man. don't that, that if one of you was asking me what car do i like these days and and that's that's an example of a car that i like you know like something that's simple like without all the technology and and everything manual simple four cylinder and everything you know like without all the turbo chargers and all that stuff that makes it harder to deal with when they break you know rg2222 i'm telling you dennis Gutierrez is cynthia single nope and she's been married with the same guy since i don't know exactly i know for a while rg222 xbox or playstation 5 well i never owned a playstation but we have an xbox one rl Trump 2024. Okay. <laughs> RG222. What is Cynthia IG? Or are you talking about IQ? Well, I have no idea, really. I don't even know my own. But the last time I took a test, I think I was measured at just a little over 100 or something. <laughs> Danalog video. Have you ever watched a weird Paul? Yes, yes. I, well, I know the person. That's the, That's a YouTuber. Yeah, he he has some old videos too. Although although I mean it's not as much as he doesn't have as much as I have, but and but but the other the YouTuber his name was Nelson Sullivan, but sadly he died in of a heart attack in 1989 and so I mean there's not going to be any video from him 
passed in 1989, unfortunately. But for me, I made videos in the late 80s and all the way until today. So, yeah. <clears throat> RG said, what do you ask for at the barbershop? I like, I tell them number two or one. I tell them number one on this side and then number six on the top. I'm telling you, do I like Dolly B? Still, uh, Julian Soul is asking me. Yeah, I like I like Jollibee. I mean, of course, my wife and my kids they love Jollibee. I like I like Jollibee. I mean, King Nacho Man, smash the oh okay, smash the like button. Very good, very nice. Rowdy boys, hi, hi. Loopy, De Delon. Deloyan, um, hi, Gil. I love watching your old video. How many, how time? Oh, yeah, big time. And well, I'm glad that you like my video. I mean, my channel. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of videos where that came from. Life, life in the 80s and 90s, mostly. So, yeah, King Nacho Man, do you ever eat at Alberto's? Anyway? I haven't eaten in there in a long time. <laughs> yeah, we got tired of him, I guess. I don't know. Hi, Trace. And Anna Monica Valenzuela, do you like to watch TV? Oh yeah, I mean I have a DVD collection of my of those sitcoms or or those TV shows. I was watching Chips, the TV show on the DVD. I mean I I, I like to use DVDs. I mean, Lady Girl, hi Lady Girl, RG two two two. Do I like Tesla? Yeah, why not? I mean I. I like them. I mean, I like those cars. I mean, why not? I mean, a car like that would be great for me. I mean, because I, I only commute to go to work and back. I mean, it, Tesla or other electric car would be great for me. I mean, since it's, I'm, I only commute like 50 miles per day on it. So that an electric car would be great for us. I mean, because we only do mostly local driving. But it would probably not be great if we wanted to go to Vegas. Well, I mean under the exception of Vegas, I mean, but if you wanted to do long road trips, but I, I almost never do that. So, I mean, so Tesla would work for me. I mean, yeah, or electric car would work for me since I only just do mostly local. I mean, the John, Johnsner Gamer, is that how you say your name? Johnsner? When did you sell your 1984 Mazda 66? Well, I had several of them. Well, I had a, well, I traded in my red one. I traded my red one to buy the 1995 Escort brand new back in the day. But I had another one. I had a light blue Mazda 66 back in 2004. I bought one. I bought that car. And I sold that one like two years later because I just didn't feel like I needed it anymore. And then I still had another one. It was, it was another one I had. I mean, I had a a beige one. I painted it beige, and I kept that one for four years. And then it got it everything. It started breaking down, and I decided to junk it later on. You know, like back in two thousand. You know. Rowdy boys, did you like cassettes or CDs better? Well, if we're talking about recorder recordable CDs, CDs were much better off than. But I mean, if I'm talking about cassettes and CDs, I liked cassettes better because I was able to custom make a cassette and CDs you can't. I mean, back then, you know, CDs you cannot record on before the CDR era, but. Your videos are approaching that that music universe. Very good. Your videos are appreciated by future generations. Thanks to well, I mean, I'm glad to be. I'm glad to be of service. I'm telling you, yeah, I'm glad to be able to do this. I mean, to let everybody know what things look like before all this technology took over and stuff. You know. Hi, I am. What are you come, when are you going to go to Vegas? I'm not really sure when the next time we would go there. Hi, it, Peterson. Hi. Hi. 
<laughs> Eric Peterson, hi. <clears throat> Gino Star 07, what do you miss from the old house? The one next to Alberto. I like I liked I like the area. I mean, well, I mean, although people talk crap about San Bernardino, but I, I liked that I was close to everything, you know. It was fun, like, to get out of that 23rd Street house that I used to live in, the one next to Alberto's. I loved getting out of the house and then to see the, the main street right in front of the house. That's what I liked. And I loved getting my bike and then just, immediately riding in the public street you know like immediately i don't have to ride like two three blocks to finally get to the public area i mean like i do here but i mean i mean i like that it was close to everything that's what i liked about that other and that's what i would say that i miss about that and of course the memories you know i had a lot of memories i mean on the how i made a lot of memories out of that house it was it was fun while it lasted i mean Hi, I'm coming, Chevy. Julian, Saul, did I, did I go to Covina High? No, I went to um, Northview High School in Covina, and then in the city of Covina. Have you ever had a Chevy Z71? No, I only had. We only had a um, Chevy Camaro. We had a um, 13 Camaro, but we sold that car because we just didn't need it. I mean, we didn't need that car. I mean. So, Steve Bano, hi. <laughs> and I'm, I'm always known for you to uh, pass out gifts. <laughs> Thank you for your uh, gift, donation, gift, and everything. Thank you for your um, thoughts. <laughs> Very good. Telling you. Is there any video tips? Let me see. Richie. Okay. Uh, let me see. King Nacho Man. Six. Well, yeah, my 66 did get stolen. Well, the red one. I mean, Richie D. Hey, Gail, I've been watching your video, watching you for years now. I. I, I've seen some of your videos being posted on people. Yeah, I know TikToks. But yeah, I know. I mean, that gets me kind of upset there because, like, well, you know what's upsetting about it is that is that it's like they're getting a lot of views. I've been talking about millions of views, and I, I know how much they pay. But I, I don't know if TikTok pays a lot. I mean, for TikTok, I don't know about TikTok, or I don't know about Instagram, or but I know YouTube, well, they could not do that on YouTube because YouTube actually knows that they're using my video because I would, I would actually be told that, I mean, by that someone's using my video. If, if they tried to post on YouTube, I would know through YouTube, but apparently TikTok, I mean, I'm not going to know that someone's using my video, but, but I mean, I know how much they pay when they get millions of views. Well, that's on YouTube, but I don't know about TikToks. I don't think they, I don't, well, when it, when it, the issue is if they're getting paid big money using my video, that's the issue. I don't, I don't care if they're, you. I don't care if anybody uses my video as long as they're not making big money off of it. I mean, as long as, because it's not fair, it's not fair that they're making money off of something that's mine, you know, but the, you guys are all free to use my video as long as it's not something that's going to generate millions of views and you get paid big money for it. I mean, as long as it's not like that, you guys are free to use my video. I mean, if you want to use a video, my video for a school project, that's fine by me. You, you guys are free to do that. I mean, as long as it's not something that's going to make a lot of money from millions of views. I mean, I should probably make a video about that. I mean, <laughs> telling you. Let me see, uh, RG22, iPhone or Android? Well, all of my family, they, they, they like iPhone. They, they're all, they all do iPhones. For me, though, I do Android only because I know, I know Android best. I know how to use them best and everything. Let me see, uh, do I have any plans for retirement? Um, uh, Josh, well, 
I can tell you this much. I'm going to retire at age 62. No ifs, ands, and buts. Yeah, I can tell you that much. <laughs> no, I don't care. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'm retiring. I'm going to stop working at 62. I mean, and then I'll work full time on YouTube then, or so I'll probably work full time on YouTube right now. Probably maybe by that time, I'll the uh, YouTube will probably make me enough money. I mean, I hope. I mean, is there any video tips you have made that are currently lost? Analog video is asking me. Well, I know I lost one through thieves when someone broke into our house you know, back in '95. I know I lost one. Apparently, sadly, I mean, out of time. Hi, <laughs> Trace and uh, more 90 video. I should put, I have a lot, I mean, but I could put more. Hi, BLLB, M1, B7, B3, C3. Well, thank you very much for your comment. There's a lot more where that came from. Anna Monica Valenzuela. I like cassette and vinyl record better than CD and string. Yeah. You know, it's like even my kids are sort of liking um vinyl records. Well, my kid, I gave my my little I mean, gave um my 16-year-old kid a vinyl record for her birthday, and it's by Conan Gray. That's the name of the singer. She likes like vinyl records, or she likes the physical things now it's like uh, it seems like it's becoming a trend so to sort of you know rowdy boys just last week or so i recorded myself using the internet and typing i plan on uploading it 30 or 40 years from now <laughs> <clears throat> well yeah it's never too late i mean it's never too late to make videos i mean but if you guys are gonna make videos i mean it'd be just i mean my advice about that is just make sure you could uh, like preserve it on a hard drive really good or at least maybe perhaps you could just buy one of those working eight millimeter camcorders and that way if anything crashes in the digital world you'll at least have the video cassette with you you know steven taylor hi how's the weather in my area it's kind of cold sort of cold hugo canal is high long time since i checked in well yeah i'm telling you Rich M. Okay, let's see. Lord Zebra, today is my B day. I'm drunk and I love your back in the video. Well, very, thank you very much. <laughs> Telling you. B L L B high again. P B U R says, Gil, if you could go back in time to 2004. And look at the live stream. What do you think the Gil? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. What would I? If I could go back to 2004 and look at this live stream, that I would be shocked. <laughs> what would I think and feel? I, I mean, I would trip out because of the technology of today, you know. Hugo Canales, why don't you do TikTok? Well, because, I mean, I. I actually, it seems like I did post a video on TikTok once, my very first video. Well, because, I mean, I'm not really familiarized with the platform, you know. I'm not familiarized. Maybe I should try to get familiarized with that more so I could put a few shorts on there. I should try, I mean, but I need to get, I need to, get to know the platform. Let me see, uh... Ellie Renee, hi. Well, thank you very much for your comment. Well, there's a lot of content in that channel. Trace and what type of phone do I have? I have a right now. I'm using a um a Samsung uh, Z Z Fold three. I have one of those right now. <clears throat> Uh, John K. Luna. Hi. Hi. Hmm. Alison Quinn. I have enjoyed your channel for a long time. Well, thank you very much for your comment. You had tremendous foresight to vlog before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad, glad that you like my channel. 
Yeah, no, I know, no. Let me see. Uh, Rowdy, well, thanks, thanks for your device. Get well, you're very welcome. Danalog video. When did you first watch cable TV? Well, I mean, it, it was in the 80s, you know, like it was in the 80s when we had cable TV and we had that in our days, you know. Let me see. King Nacho Man, how's your mama? Well, she's fine. I mean, she's really happy over where she's at right now. I mean, let me see. And, and Nikki, one, one, one. I love the video made about the brand new Honda Civic. Oh, yeah, that, that gray one that my mom got, huh? Yeah, that was 1995 at the time, you know. Yeah, those were really popular cars back then, too. My mom paid, like, 17 or 18 for that car at that time in 1995 you know and then only a week later i got a brand new car myself and it was a 1995 escort ford escort i got brand new like a week later but that car that escort was twelve thousand dollars my mom paid like 18 for her car yeah Yeah, King Nacho Man. Yeah, you are right. I've been hearing about I've been hearing about that TikTok that they want to ban that. I mean, I'm hearing about I don't know how true that is, but hey, I'm I'm hearing about that. I mean, I'm not exactly I think I think I was hearing something about that they want to do that because it because because um the government or whoever it is, like they think it's a threat. It's a threat like to pass out secrets to to the other countries or whatever that is. I don't know what it is. Because since, it, since TikTok is run run from another country or something, and there's no there's no restrictions or something like that, and then they don't want any threats of being passed secrets around or something like that. That's what I hear, why they want to ban TikTok. Yeah, that's what I hear. <coughs> Christian Chavez, did you watch... WCW or Raw back and that well no I wouldn't I don't word you're talking about uh, wrestling well no I well I know my brother probably used to do that but no I never really got into that I mean Ruben Mediterrano have you and your fam ever sit together and watch your old video well not exactly well well if you're talking about my family like my mom and and hector well yeah we did that before but we don't have to do that anymore because they 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 could watch it on their phones now yeah Corey smith mario Kart. i think i know your name somewhere man you're you're are you the one from my days in the high school by any chance i believe <laughs> it's been a well, it's based on your comments it's been a while i'm telling you gus gus Hi, Gus Gus. Are you the one that lives in Riverside, Gus Gus? <laughs> Danalog video. Have you ever uploaded old television? Actually, yes, I did. I mean, I don't have a lot. I don't have much of a collection of those. It's just a little bit. I mean, hi, Janet. Hi. I, are you possibly the Janet that I know? Like my cousin <laughs> Corey Smith don't think there was a real ad. oh what Gus Gus was Hector's favorite show I love well now it's my mom's favorite show I love Lucy <laughs> Gus Gus you were supposed to come over and say hi to me that other day <laughs> I'm telling you yeah, you did add to your um, username, all right, Corey Smith. Corey Smith about TikTok being a threat to yeah. Well, you well you probably know a bit more than about all this TikTok banning thing than I do, um, Corey. Um, yeah, I mean I I was hearing about it. I mean that they want to ban it. I mean, but I don't know how long it would be before it would actually take place. But but I don't even really do TikTok anyway. I mean, 
Well, my my kids or my wife is really into that TikTok, but I I don't I don't do TikTok. Well, same thing as YouTube, but well, they're shorts. You know, the videos are shorts, which is well, I mean, you just like you just scroll the screen and another video plays instantly. Well, YouTube has a little bit of that too, but TikTok, I mean, it's just like a more convenient, I guess. I mean. Janet, well, thank you very much for your comment. I always watch your video. Very good. Um, well, I'm glad that you're sticking around the time machine there. <laughs> I'm telling you. Tracen, what does the old apartment look like now? Well, I actually walked by there the other day. I mean, I guess they painted it and they changed the color of it. And well, if you're talking about the, the one in Corona, California, well, I mean, I guess, I mean, it looks the same, basically, but they've changed the collar. Yeah. yeah. Time capsule clips. Hi. Ever used chat GPT? Nope. Never, never, never heard of it, actually. Ditched analog video does your RCA VHS camcorder. From 1996 work now. Yes, it does. But I think the video heads on that one is damaged. Because it just plays a snowy picture. And I, no matter what I do, I try to clean them. And they, they don't they don't worry. It doesn't play the tapes anymore. I mean, all right, it just shows a snowy picture. But the camera does work still other than that. I mean... Van Scap. Who who's considered the cool uncle between you and your brother? Me. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, I guess. Huh? I have no idea. Van Scap. Gus Gus, me and Gree. Let's do it. Maybe I would probably do that for my birthday this year. King Nacho Man, please invite Time Lord to meet and greet. Well, all of y'all will be invited to any meet and greet that I do. Let me see. <clears throat> King Nacho Man. Yeah. <laughs> Christian Chavez, you like to watch sports and like college basketball? Well, I'm not really, I, I don't really watch sports that much. I'm not I'm not really a sports kind of guy. I know Hector is, my brother is. Well, and I'm not I don't really watch those that much really. Hip hop says, do I still have my CDs you bought at the where only half of them. I only have half of them still. The other half I got rid of them. I sold them because I decided to thin out my CD collection. Cause I just didn't want to have too many of them. So I sold half of them and I only kept the very best ones that I like or my favorite ones. I only kept the ones that I really liked to put it to, to, to leave it at the DJ equipment I have in the garage. And I still have them. I still have that half from 2000, from the early 2000s. <clears throat> so all of those CDs are going to be more than 20 years old. Or probably even 30 for some of them, you know. Daniel Smith, have you ever owned a Sega Genesis? Yes, I, I actually own one right now. I own a Genesis right now. Yeah, well, I, I had a Genesis back in 1990. I even have a video of me getting it. <coughs> so, yeah. Yeah, Music Universe. Have you ever been to Muscoy? Nope. The Sanyan Turtle. Hi. Gilbert, someone, yeah, no, someone, and then, uh, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, I know, yeah, well, I think that was, like, the video, and the one on Instagram, yeah, I'm, I know that one, I mean, they used the video from, like, my house in 1990, 1988, yeah, I mean, I, they did, um, somebody did, I mean, yeah, I know, yeah, I mean, I don't even know what to do about it, I mean, People are using my videos, and I, I, I'm, for all I know, I have no idea if they're making money off of it. I'm, I'm talking about big money off of it or not. I mean, 
and but that's not very i'm not very happy about it but i mean like i said i i can't i don't even know what what i can do about it i mean i i'm kind of stuck you know like so i'm i'm i don't even know what to do that's so all but I, I sadly i have to let it through i mean but if I'm able to get on the, if I'm able to get on to commenting, then then I like to go ahead and post a link to my video to where that video actually came from. I do that as much as I can, you know. To at least I'll I'll post on on the comment saying that that's my video, and then I would put a link or I would mention where it came from, where my video is at. I mean things like that. That's what I would do. That's what I do as much as I can. I mean, well, thank you very much for for your thought to ask to give me credit. I mean, they, they can at least do that. I mean, I mean, someone who uses my video, they should at least do that. I mean, like, give me credit. I mean, you know, they, 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 I would just ask to at least just give me credit. I mean, or or put credit on me. I mean, at least do that. I mean, but. Because it's not because they're not gonna look good with me. I mean, it's gonna look bad. Anyone who uses my video and doesn't put credit, that's gonna look bad with me. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not gonna look good with me. I mean, <clears throat> Gus, Gus, any projects around the house? Well, we haven't needed to do anything in this house because this house, I mean, it just like doesn't need any work. I mean. Well, maybe I had to fix the fencing, and I did a little bit of that. Fix the fence. That's getting old. Jesse Powell, 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 Powell. Hi. Danalog video. Nintendo or Sega? I like Nintendo because they have the the Mario Brothers. I love everything to do with Mario Brothers. I love the Mario Brothers games. You know, like all anything especially like the games like mario galaxy you know things like that i love those type type of games Corey smith i would it would be very hard to go back to pre yeah well if you're talking about Corey smith if you're talking about like if if if, if suddenly the internet wasn't working anymore or they decided to shut it off well it would be hard to do that now but when we were living our days we lived it we lived with it i mean we lived through it but now that we're on it now that we're on it now that we have internet it's going to be hard to take that off now i mean <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to be very difficult to take it off now i mean now that we have it i mean because we're we're too used to it by now i mean richard gunther <clears throat> I'm telling you. Yeah. So, anyways. Hang on. George Montalvo. Hi. Lo loco. Loco. Happy to see you doing good. Keep that camera going well. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. It's going to keep going. But I'm now using mostly the 360 camera because that way I could be sure that I'm getting a good shot every time. Hip Hop says, do you miss living in Fontana and the Kaiser? Well, I do and I don't, and I kind of don't care. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, if I'm talking about a memory, did I have good memories there? Well, it, it was pretty okay. I mean, it was, it was all right. I mean, the memory was, was okay there. But... Like, uh, do I miss that? Well, I don't really necessarily miss living there. I mean, I don't really necessarily miss living in Fontana. I mean, not necessarily. I put it this way. I actually miss, I would miss the 23rd Street house, uh, the one that's next to that, Alberto in the shitty, shitty, in the shitty San Bernardino that you always say. I mean, yeah, I, I actually miss that house more than I do of the Fontana house. Yeah, believe it or not. I mean, and I had my memories. I had better memories with the with that last house that I lived in than I did of the Fontana house. Put it that way. <laughs> Corey Smith, how did we search things before Google? Yeah, that's a good question. How did we? I'm going to take a screenshot of that video, you know, that comment.
<clears throat> How did we search things before the internet? Well, we used to look on the phone books. We used to look on the phone books. And hopefully, like, we could call a number. Like, let's say that, like, we're looking for, like, or, or we used to actually go to the store itself. Like, say, record stores, you know, like, the record store. If we were looking for a certain album, then sometimes we can ask them, ask the clerk if they if, if they could find us an album. And if they didn't have it, possibly they would be able to order it for us. But how did we used to... How did we used to search before the internet? I mean, how? well, I mean, we used to have to ask people around if they know, like, let's say working on a car, for an example, like, how do we search for, well, we were, like, for certain things, we were kind of stuck. I mean, yeah, we would have to just probably buy a book that's made for that car, for an example. How did we used to search? We used to have to ask around, maybe. I mean, but or or we used to go in the phone book and and call that number and ask around a little bit. I mean, that's how we used to do that. I mean, <clears throat> Jesse Powell, I owned a Genesis back in two thousand three. Well, that's good because that was, it, it was fun during that time, you know, two thousand three. Because Genesis came out in the late eighties, you know, and I was playing the Genesis in that time, big time. Out of ET, do you like Britney Spears? Well, I'm just neutral about. I'm not. I mean, I like the older music, and I mean, Trace and do I like Jeeps? Well, why not? <laughs> Jeeps, yeah, why not? <laughs> Let me see. Chris, hi, Chris. Which skill, which job are you going to get once they move? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm telling you. <clears throat> I'm going to work for YouTube full time. <laughs> King Nacho Man. Gil, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant? I like, I probably still like um, in and out or you know what you know what i like i i like outback steakhouse that was i went, went there the other day it was really good man it tasted so good but really expensive too man damn <clears throat> but i think in and out is my favorite i'm telling you uh sanyan turtle i'm playing mario kart on the gamecube well i can imagine that all of any of the mario brothers games are fun no matter what system it is <laughs> yeah. George Montalvo. McDonald's or KFC? I, 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 I personally like McDonald's better, but my kids probably like McDonald's too. I mean, probably my wife probably likes KFC, but I think my wife likes McDonald's probably better also. We go there more often than we do of KFC. <clears throat> N.W. Tyrant. Hi. From Seattle, huh? King Nacho Man. Do you celebrate Easter? Yeah, we do. I mean, we sure do. Jesse Powell. My Nintendo console was a Nintendo 64 back in 1999. My first game was Super Mario Bros. That, that was the same thing for me. But I got my 64 in 1998. You, I don't know. You probably may have seen my video. I actually have a video of when I first got my Nintendo 64. I mean, I love that Mario Brothers game I had on it. I mean, I love that game, man. And that was actually also my first game, too. TYX. Have you ever seen Atari Jaguar on TV or... <clears throat> no, I, I actually seen a Jaguar, but I never played it. I never played it or seen it. <laughs> I'm telling, I'm still doing the cough thing, but it's a little bit less these days. The coughing. <clears throat> That's uh, my first Nintendo cough. Let me see. Donnie Boyd, San Berdu, San Bernardino, Jesse Powell. My dad still has all of his old VHS tapes from the 90s and early. Wow, you're supposed to transfer those and. Put them on YouTube. 
Daniel Smith, ask Jeeves. Very good. B B L L B combo number twenty seven. I think I well, I know Murder Side used to always say that. <coughs> <coughs> And I made a video about Alberto's asking for combo number twenty-seven. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you. I don't know if you've seen that video. That I made a video about it. Me ordering something at uh, Alberto's because you guys are just being funny about this um, combo number. And I asked them if they have combo number twenty-seven. <laughs> That's funny, man. Never, never, their reaction. Well, you guys got to see that video. I mean, that I made about Albertos. I and mean, when I made up, when I ordered something at Albertos and I had my spy camera on and stuff. Music Universe. Which famous person's death shocked you back in the day? Hmm. What famous person? Well, probably, I mean, probably Michael Jackson, maybe. I mean, what's another one? I mean, Jesse Powell, the Yellow Pages, yeah, okay, yeah, the phone book, you know, the Yellow Pages, yeah. Greasy, hi. Gus Gus Commodore, or you're talking about that computer, the Commodore computer? Yeah, I, I wanted one of those back in the day. Jesse Powell, I played Super Mario 64 on my old phone. Oh, yeah, can you play Super Mario Brothers 64 on, on the phone? Can you? I would like to know how to do that. <clears throat> the Saiyan Turtle. I'm telling you. Let me see. Uh-huh. Oh, I heard. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm on a sinking ship still. Well, anyways. Omar. So, 146. Hi, Omar. Wait, did you change, did you change your name? Are you, are are you? Oh no! Wait a minute, because I know some YouTuber that's named Omar Demetri. Eighties? No, I don't think you changed your name, did you? I think you're just someone else. Hi, <clears throat> Danalog video. Have you ever used a camera where you had to carry the tape recorder? No, I never. I never did that before, but back then, back in 1988, before I bought my first VHS, I actually had preferred one of those types of camcorder. I had actually preferred one of those because I actually just wanted a portable VCR and a camcorder. I had actually preferred one of those, but they didn't have any, or I just didn't come around to, you know. I mean, you know, but so I never, I never tried to use one of those before. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel Smith. It's not called Mario Brothers by N64, are huh, you? Yeah? Oh, man. I'm telling you. Let's see. Greasy, did you know? Did you know anyone who had a Neo Geo console growing up? No. I, I, I know, the, I know the, what the game consoles are, but I never seen one or knew anyone with one. Oscar Stahl, Solis, hi. Just started to watch your videos again. How are you? Doing? I'm doing good. Hi, I'm. Well, I'm glad that you started to watch the video again. Yeah, because it's always something fun. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like if YouTube existed back in the you know, '90s version of yourself, it would have been reading. Well, yeah, that would be a good question there. You know, TYX. What was the, my first boombox? Well. If you're talking about my very first one that I ever had, well, it was not a big one, but I had a I had a sharp GF forty one forty one. That was the, the specific model number of it. <clears throat> that was nineteen eighty one. I got that for Christmas. I loved it. Crash Davis, G J from Australia. Hi, telling you, Jesse Powell. I will be 31 in six months. I remember when I was 31 years old in 2001. Go, go easy. Hi. And we're doing good. Telling you. Autism Matters says, hi. Are you going to the Dr. Dre ceremony Tuesday? Holly? Well, probably not. I mean, <laughs> <clears throat> Jeff Thompson. 
Do you ever see any friends from back? I have. I have not really. I only see them on Facebook or, well, basically Facebook. Paid Vic. Thanks for your video. I hope you. Well, we're doing good. Well, thank you very much, Paid Vic. Telling you, Nacho Man. Telling you, Ben Gomez. What's your favorite Mario Brothers game? I think my favorite one. It probably might be the Galaxy Mario Galaxy One and Two. I think those are probably, <laughs> yeah, it is. You got Omar Demetri. <laughs> I knew you anywhere, man. And even the avatar, the reason why I recognize you is because of your avatar. That somehow. So, my favorite Mario Brothers game, I think, is Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Those are my favorite ones. I love, I love those games. Those games are so fun. Autism led. Matters. I bet Gil was a raw dog back in the high school. I'm telling you, raw dog. I'm not sure what that expression means, but I know, I know, I wasn't popular. Omar Demetri deleted the channel. Why? Why did you do that? I'm telling you, XQ39. Hi, saying turtle. Well. You can play it on your phone, but it's using a Nintendo 64 and emulsifier. They emulsify 64. Well, if you could still play the game, but then who cares? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Omar. Damn it, tree. <laughs> Daniel Smith, did you go to video rental stores a lot? Well, we did. I mean, we did our, we had our days. Nathan. Lopez. Well, the Mercury is running good, but I just haven't used it in a long time. Just haven't. Well, I mean, it would not pass smog because of the catalytic converter, because they decided to start looking at the catalytic converter. I don't see anything wrong with it, but they say there is, because it's not a California cal catalytic converter. And I'm, I'm planning to go fix that. I'm planning to go ahead and get a California catalytic converter on my car so I could use the car again you know but it runs and drives fine i mean it needs some work but I'm just... the joe era videos from the early 90s are my favorite well that's good i'm glad that you liked those videos I'm telling you well because oh, that that was like a fun decade for a lot of people like well those, those seem to be the funner videos for everybody because they had everything on it like joe and and there were a lot of family gatherings back then and I made a lot of driving videos. Autism matter. You should react to video or what's going on in the people I'm telling. Oh, here. Telling. Go easy. I'm in Mexico right now. I'm not really, I'm not really a vacation, though. It's something important. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Do you remember talk? Uh, let me see. Do I remember Taka? Not, not exactly. Jesse Paul. Galax Mario Galaxy was on the Nintendo Wii. Yeah, that's Nintendo Wii. Yes. King Nacho Man, telling you. Jesse Powell, I got my Mario Galaxy for Christmas. Yeah, 2007 is when they came out. Yeah, around that time. What do you think of the of how Nintendo has evolved from the Nest all the way to the Switch. I mean, it seems like the, the Switch, uh, to me, in my opinion, is, is is not any better than the Nintendo Wii. I mean, I, I think the graphics is pretty much the same still. I mean, to, in my opinion, you know. Trace and I'm autistic, and I love it. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm mean, autistic. I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's cool with me. I mean. But uh, autistic, I know, I know, I have, a, I had a little bit of it, like a minor bit of it. But messy, Meg, hi, you were really thinking ahead of back then and documenting. Well, oh yeah, I mean, it, it, it's just built into me, you know. <clears throat> Saying turtle, why did your dad dad live with you and your brother in the apartment in 1990? Well, probably money issues, I guess. Trying to save money, I guess. Hey, Gil, I love your videos and our archives, but sometimes I wonder, are you ever going to run it? <laughs> a lot of you, like, ask me that question, and, well, the answer to that is not exactly, I mean, 
Well, I, I have I, I have so much. I mean, I do have a lot. Well, I mean, people like, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I can, I, I probably will never run out of videos, at least especially going on to, because I'm still making videos to this day. So 20 years from now, I'll be posting videos I make today of driving and stuff like that. <clears throat> Ben Gomez, are you, do you still have the Mercury? Yes, I still have it. And, and it runs and drives fine still. I mean, yeah, no problem. It's still good. I mean, I just haven't used it lately. I mean, Elliot K2. So how long will that take? Are you talking about... I mean, well, I, I will never run out. I mean, I'll never run out of videos. So really... <coughs> In reality, I could probably say I probably will never will. I mean, let me see. Mars Gold, hi. No, I don't have any Costco pizza in the fridge. I just had one earlier, actually. <laughs> oh, Mars, as you're tired of it and still wanted to stay, I still have all my music videos and files. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> oh man. Oh Omar. You're funny. <laughs> well, I, I think my channel has been around since 2009, I think. Nathan Lopez, what's the best most reliable car you ever had through the years? Because I had a lot of cars, yes. I mean I I mean so far I feel like my Kia has been really good to me, but I know some of the most reliable cars I ever had. It was a um, 94 Sentra, Nissan Sentra, and a 95 Mazda Protégé. And then I think even like my my first Mazda 66 was a good car too. Only the first one though. I'm telling you. George Montalvo. I'm telling you, you should make t-shirts and and I wish I could get myself into them. I'm like getting t-shirts up there. I mean, maybe like on my like when I become full time on YouTube, I would probably do that. I probably I would like to work full time on YouTube <laughs> just because it's fun. I'm telling you. Hi Gil, I was born in nineteen seventy two. Times have certainly changed since we were kid. Oh yeah, big time man. Analog, do you consider yourself as one of the first? Well, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people who actually vlogged even before me, but they, I mean, we haven't seen their videos posted up, or well, they have not posted them up yet. I mean, only a handful of people actually did do post up their old video because a lot of them probably sadly didn't even save their videos. And NW Tyrant. Mario Galaxy is on the Nintendo yeah. Switch. And, yeah, actually, I have I have a cartridge with that game on it, actually. The Music Universe, how was life before the two tunes? When, yeah, I remember. Remember, like, I have a video of when, when before the 210 freeway came around. Actually, I have to go <coughs> plug this computer in because it's running out of gas. <laughs> Yeah, my computer's running out of gasoline. Or am I running out of batteries? I hope that the computer's... I hope that the plug is in there now. Cause I hope it's plugged in now. There, it is plugged in. I gotta try to clean this lens. There. <coughs> <coughs> Telling you, post more 90s video. Well, I sure probably shall do. Tyson, all you cur, they're the best. I'm telling you, King Nation, Nacho Man, Jesus Rodriguez. How, buddy? How, how? Hi, hi. I'm telling you. <coughs> Excuse me. Jack Carey. 
Hard and man, hard and man. Damn man. What yo, what's going on, my bro? I'm I'm good. I'm it's all good. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah. Telling you. The second Nintendo Switch is supposed to drop in and I wonder how that's gonna be. I wonder how the graphics will be on that one. Do you reminisce your do, do I reminisce to my children? Yes, I do. I mean, if you're talking about reminiscing my days, I, well, reminisce, yeah, I, I do. I mean, I talk about my past to my kids here and there, and they get that they like hearing my little stories. <laughs> <coughs> Jesse Powell, well, I'm going to head out. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Wow, very good. Okay. Jesse Powell, well, I'm going to go. Jamar's Gold, when is the last time that Arnold Hector sent to visit your house? Well, Arnold has not been to this house yet. But Cynthia went here just like a week ago. And Hector was here probably a couple weeks ago. Hi, G. Curtis. <clears throat> John K. Luna. What's your routine on Saturday? Well, on Saturday, I typically sleep all day long. I mean... I'm telling you. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that I typically sleep all day long. I mean, on Saturday. Today, that's what I basically did. Just slept all day. Mostly sleep or maybe a little cleaning house. G. Curtis, I have lots of my 90s VHS tapes with me and my friend. <clears throat> well, you have to digitalize them and, and post them. <laughs> Well, that's if they're not if they're if they're not personal or anything. Let me see. I didn't know. Tracen. I didn't know laptops ran on that. No, I'm just being funny on that. <laughs> I just use that expression, you know, like because when my phone is running out of batteries, I always like to say my phone is running out of gas. So it's like an expression, you know. <coughs> Telling you, they need to make a game to GameCube two. Yeah, I know they should. They should make a Nintendo sixty four two. <laughs> T Y X. What's the most valuable video audio recording that you have from the eighties and nineties? Well, my you know you know like my Northview high school or like my graduation videos. Probably one of my value most valuable to me. And of course, like maybe like um, <clears throat> I think that the the video from like transitioning in from 1999 to 2000 that probably some of my va most valuable videos to me. But of course, you know, like all of my family gatherings, you know, they're they're valuable to me, you know. <clears throat> Telling you. Joe Potato, I wish I was recording MTV nonstop in the 80s. I'm telling you. What's my favorite pizza? I like um, pepperoni and cheese. <laughs> but I like Domino's. Saiyan Turtle, how come the 80s have felt like different time period? Everybody made friends nowadays. <clears throat> yeah. I could probably make another video about that question there. How come in the 80s we felt like, yeah, it, 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 that's true, saying, I was, I, was, I was just thinking that myself, you know, like how come back then, I even said it on one of my videos, my, my very last video about remembering 1993 and 97, I even said it on my last video, like talking about the same thing, you know, like, Back then, you're able to say hi to people, but today we're afraid to say hi anymore to people. You know, we're afraid. Well, <clears throat> one of those things, though, about that is like you know, we we have a lot of Karens, you know, in today's world, you know, today's time, we have a lot of Karens, you know, like who 
who have this thing about wanting to get everybody in trouble. It's just like they just get, get turned on by doing that. I mean, I would say I could uh, express it that way. Some people get turned on by making, getting you in trouble. I mean, like they want to get you in trouble for every little thing you do. Like, like if you're if, like for the gym, for an example, like if I was going to say, for an example, want to say hi to a girl. So, so just to say hi, because I just want to be friendly. And then a chance is already a really good chance that that girl is going to look at me offensive and gonna think and think that I'm a creep or something. A lot of girls for that example. Well, in today's times, you know, guy, guys actually said it. I, I watched a video about, about talking about that, you know, like about <clears throat> how people are today. Like, and this girl was complaining about why guys weren't coming up to her and stuff. Well, because, well, because guys are afraid of coming up to a girl these days because they, because they're tired of like, like they're tired of the threat of being called a creep or something or and then suddenly they start getting in trouble and yeah i mean guys are afraid of that these days or people in general are afraid of that these days you know because people the way people are these days like they take offensive it's take offense for everything we do saying hi like in today's times when we say hi to a girl they they take offense on that because they think that we're hitting up on them or something you know I don't know, girls, guys, whatever. I mean, yeah. I'll probably talk about that on another video, you know. <clears throat> you can't really make friends in today's time because of how people are, their attitudes, you know, like, because they, um, you know, because they, they, every, because they always, like, think that we're trying to hit up on them. Girls, particularly girls, you know, like, well, I don't know, guys, I don't know, well, guys, too, I mean, sometimes, people in general i mean they're just not friendly or they think that we're trying to hit up on them or or we're trying to do something with them or trying to make them mad or whatever they are we're trying to do something um bad to them or and they think that we're trying to do something you know like shit yeah that's how it is in today's time you know <clears throat> how's it going I don't speak Spanish, and unfortunately, Jerry is asking me. Telling, hi, I'm Jacob's man. Jacob's ladder. Hi, hi. Telling you. The, the Oreo. Hi. No Montana. I agree, Shannon. You know, it's hard to make friends. Yeah. Even for me, I mean, before. Before, like in the 90s, you know, like people used to actually like look at me and, and want to say hi to me in the 90s, in the gym, for an example. In the 90s, people used to like look at me and say hi to me and, 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 and I, I would say hi or whatever. I talked to them. Yeah, I, used to, I made friends in the gym in the 90s before at one time. But in, right now in the gym today, I go to Planet Fitness regularly and nobody looks at me, man. Like, Nobody wants to say hi, and 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 I, and I I always give the nod that I want to say hi. I always ha have the look on my face that I want to say hi, but everybody just walks by like like they're like mad at me and stuff. You know, it's like nothing like that. I mean, the, the way people are today. I mean, they have attitude. You know, like or I mean, they just don't want to say hi. I mean, like in today's times, you know. But in the nineties, though, you know, I'll tell you. <clears throat> it was a lot better in the 90s in that part. So, anyways, telling you. Mars Gold, can I do 10 push ups? Well, I can do 10 push ups. I'm telling you. The Orioles, the Orioles. Yes, sir, you are historical and time machine here. Very nice. Well, thank you very much for your comments. No, Montana, I wish we could go brick phones instead of <laughs> telling you. <coughs> T, hi, T. Well, thank you very much for your comment. Joe Mar Florenciano, have you recorded when we were at the funeral? Well, yeah, I did. I mean, well, I actually posted a link to the video. I mean, I, it's on my YouTube, but, but it's not public, though. That funeral video is not public. 
but I, I I posted a link to Roma's um Roma's I could post a link of it if you want. I mean on you um Joe Mar Florence or um Jacob. Like but you just I, I just need to know. Well I'll, I'll post a link on your uh, on your um email or something. <clears throat> I have it. I mean King Nacho, do you still have the Mercury? Yeah, I still do. I have it. I mean the car's in the garage. Ben Gomez, Jesus Christ loves you all. Well, yeah, I'm a believer. I'm 110%. No Montana. Thank you, Ben. Tell him, Vo Voyant. Telling you, I'm a 110% believer of God and everything. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> NW Tyrant. The 80s and 90s were the best. I'm telling you, I have a lot. My channel is full of those. Ben Gomez, I'm telling you, telling you. King Nacho. No Montana. The internet should be banned, but Brick Bones. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, well, well, I know that I'm hearing about this TikTok, that they want to ban TikTok, but I don't know how true that is, but... What college is Clarissa going to? But well, I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I think I was hearing something about uh, uh, San Bernardino something. Or am I, I don't know which one, really. What? Because there's a school, really, there's a college really close to where we live. But <laughs> some, someone was asking what college you think you're going to be going to. Uh, so you don't know yet. Huh? I think most likely... The Santa, like the Cal State, Santa yeah, Cal State. That's the name. That's most likely. Probably the most likely because it's close. I can't decide. <clears throat> I'm telling you. Most, I think maybe that one. Yeah, I can't that was hilarious. <clears throat> VHA8. You're right. I'm telling you. Let me see. Uh, the Oreo. Kill, are you amazed how the technology has changed? So, yeah, now nah, it is pretty amazing, man. I tell you, I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, oh, yeah, so, I mean, I mean, it's convenient in, in its way, and I, I love the sophisticated technology in terms of when it comes to video recording and with a 360 camera. That's really cool. I mean, the technology on that part is cool, yes, but but. The internet part and all the drama on the internet, not so much. <clears throat> Joe. Nah. I'm telling you. If you're talking about back in the 90s, one gigabyte of, of space was a lot. And well, yeah, well, hard drives were barely one gig. I and mean, we thought that was a lot. But now we have one terabyte. Well, I have I have 14 terabyte hard drives. To cut to hold my videos, all of my videos, and seems like I still have this. Um, uh, I still have a minor case of the um, what do you call it? Bell's palsy. I've had that for a long time. <coughs> Let me see. I see. Well. Months ago, like, yeah, my company, my job is changing, is moving, moving. So, like, they're, they're going to, yeah, I, mean, I probably should make a video about this just to let you all know what's going on. So, I probably, I'm, well, I'm going to be, <clears throat> I'm going to be laid off, like, in the next couple months. But I'm not really worried about it right now. So, I'm good. I mean, we're good. I'm not really worried about it. <clears throat> BLLB. Hey, if I see you at Tuesday gym or I'm telling you, are you talking about um, the planet fitness, planet fitness? <clears throat> Hi, Leo. I'm telling you. <clears throat> I still have junk in my throat. I haven't had much of it lately, but. Do I like make, making mixtapes? I have not tried to make one. <laughs> What's the one thing about 2000s? Well, what was one thing about the 2000s that I wasn't that I wasn't a fan of? Hmm, that's a good question. You know, 
Um, that 2000, I'm not really sure. 2000, I mean, like, if we're talking about the 2000s decade, what was I, what was one thing about it that I wasn't a fan of? I mean, there's really nothing. I mean, well, the prices of cars, I guess, I don't know. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of off the bat. <clears throat> Well, the rising cost of housing, yeah. I would say the rising cost of housing, you know, in two th in the 2000s. But then, of course, the crash happened in 2008. Well, the rising prices of housing and the overhype of housing, that that's the one thing I didn't like in the 2000s. Jack Harry, where is Destiny Hector? Well, Destiny lives in Orange. No, what is it? No. In Oregon. Oregon. In, over in Oregon and north of California. Like. <clears throat> Elvin Lee. Gilly watching March Madness. I'm telling you. Joe Mar. Oh, uh, yeah. Hi, uh, Jacobs are again. I'm telling you. King Nacho Man. Trump. Will ban TikTok. <laughs> Nacho Man, Joe Potato. I had a nine. I had 1984 on a cassette. Oh, you're talking about is that an album from Van Halen, right? Yeah, I know that album. Doctor Rock. I was watching the Short Circuit too, and Johnny Five said he was eight mega. Yeah, eight megabytes. Yeah, he can't even do anything with eight megabytes. <laughs> And then, well, back then, that was a lot back then, you know. That was a lot of memory back then, you know. But <clears throat> Saiyan Turtle, do I miss my red car you sold on offer up? Are oh, you talking about the the um, Camaro? Well, we don't. I mean, because we didn't need it. I mean, we didn't need the car. I mean, we really didn't need it. I mean, and we sold it for a pretty nice amount of money, you know, like. I was happy to sell the car, you know, because we didn't have insurance on it. We didn't have collision insurance on it. So if anything would have happened to that car, we would have lost out on it. But I'm glad that we don't have the, that, that car to worry about anymore. <clears throat> no. Who's Johnny? VH88. It didn't, but I first, my, well, my first CD was 1984 and 1990, huh? telling you then right here right now i'm telling you 1990 error <clears throat> <clears throat> turtle have you been using the why well, i seen the mario brothers movie that was fun that was a fun movie dr rock said she said she smiled in her special way i am uh, telling you Joe Pata Potato, I got a Sony Boombox CD in 1988. Uh, did they have a CD player in 1980? Well, yeah, they did, but it would, must have been pretty expensive to buy that back then. Curtis, hi. Question, how do you survive out there in, Cal in California, and do you ever think of moving away from the man now? <clears throat> and if I moved away, I mean, I, I would not be able to adjust to any new location. Cause I'm so used to it over here. I mean, while the wages here is really good compared to other states, you know, like the wages, uh, the the minimum wage is really good. So that that's one of the ways. And another way that we do it is like having no, we don't have any car payment and we don't have any credit card payments. So I mean, we're good. I mean, that's how we do it. That's one of the ways that we do it. Cause we just keep our old card. I mean, that's, we, we, we don't, you just don't drive newer cars. We just keep our old cars that are paid off. That's just one of those number one ways on how we do it. <clears throat> Telling you, the music universe, Joe Potato and the NES. I'm telling Trace and you, who do you think was responsible for 911? Well, they keep saying something about Osama bin Laden and stuff. You know, the um, the one Middle East, and I'm not I'm not really even knowing exactly the full story of what why they wanted to do that. But Heckler, the Heckler commented 
to me back then that the reason why the Middle East wants to attack USA is because they think that USA is the reason why they don't have freedom, something like that. That's what I heard. I mean, that's how Hector said it, but I don't know what's the real reason why they wanted to attack USA, but, <clears throat> but anyway. Elvin Lee, do I like Freddy Krueger? Well, that's uh, the guy from, uh, that's Halloween, right? Uh, what, or is that uh, Friday the 13th or something? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, wow. Well, he was a thrill. <laughs> the movies. Telling you. VHA8. Marvelous Minds. Hi, Benjamin. Well, thank you very much. East from East LA, huh? I have some, I have a few videos from LA. Yeah. Digital analog video where their camcorder is che cheaper than a thousand when you got your original RCA camcorder in 1988. Well, oh, if you're talking about when I bought mine in 1988, were their camcorders cheaper than anything? Oh, yeah, there were. But but they're they're really stripped down models, though. I mean, that they, they had this 8 millimeter, and it was very basic, and it didn't even have zoom or anything. It, it, it was just a basic lens, basic color lens, and a basic player, cassette recorder player. It was just a basic fixed lens, you know. It didn't have any zoom or nothing, and then they were asking five hundred dollars for that one at the time. And they had some other VHSC model, and it was very basic. And you couldn't even. It didn't. Even, they had optical viewfinder. They didn't have electronic viewfinder. It was just like a, a see-through viewfinder, you know. And they were five hundred dollars for those camcorder, and I didn't want a camcorder like that. I wanted a real one back then. And a real one was no less than a thousand dollars. And a real one, a real camcorder had an electronic viewfinder, and it had all the little uh, dick gate display and had zoom, zoom lens and autofocus and all that stuff. I, I wanted a real one back then. Well, it was it was like an expression, you know. <clears throat> Ninety three said, "Have you ever seen the movie?" Blood in, blood out. No, I have not seen that. Okay. XQ39. What year did I get my MP3 player? Well, the very first MP3 player I ever got was in 2006, I believe. Or was it 2005? I think it was one of I think it was 2004. No, I think it was 2005 when I got my very first MP3 player. 93 says, do you like tequila? Man, I'm not, I'm, I don't drink. Mike Barker, hi. Gilbert, our groceries prices out of control. Well, I, mean, I guess. I mean, I guess so. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I, it is noticeably higher. I mean, but but it's not killing us, or at least I don't. Well, you know what's really out of control? I think the fast food, the fast food prices are getting a little bit, a little bit out of whack, man. So I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I mean. We used to, I like to eat out because it's convenient, I, and I love the taste, you know. I love the taste of fast food and stuff, you know. But it, it's getting expensive, though, man. It, that, that's what I'm noticing. It's getting more expensive. Grocery is, it is gone up. It has gone up. But it's not, like, like to the point where it's, like, killing us or anything, you know. Hi, I'm Jacob Warren. Don Raymond, do I miss Joe? Well, I'm neutral. <laughs> I'm neutral about Joe from the 90s. V8H, no, VH88. Kill guys, see you next live. I'm telling you. Jacob Warren, it's just hit midnight where I'm at. So it's now St. Patrick's Day for me. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is St. Patrick's Day. Hell yeah. Well, I got a lot of green for that. I mean, I have a bunch of green stuff for that, you know. <laughs> I gotta remember that. I gotta, man, man. I didn't. I forgot that St. Patrick's Day. God dang, I forgot all about that. <clears throat> I have a bunch of green clothes for that. Telling you, Doctor Rock, Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes, okay, yes, that's what I thought. Elm Street, yes. Well, I mean, those, those movies are, I mean, I, I sometimes get a laugh at those movies because, you know, it's like 
they scare you and, and it, it's so scary that it makes you laugh, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just funny, man. Like, like it's always like meant to be really scary and <laughs> like a lot of killing. <laughs> Those shows that kind of make me crack up sometimes now. Yeah, exactly. Like they do. It's just a thrill of I mean, again, getting us all like spooked out. <laughs> but, I mean, it's funny, man. Shane Turtle. I remember I visited my uncle in East LA. The house was tiny. I'm telling you, giant 415. Are you Apple or Android? Well, my wife and my kids do Apple phones. And they use Apple computers as well. We have an Apple computer, like in the family computer, but I don't use it. I, I do mostly Android. I have a, my phone is a, actually I have my phone here. Here's my phone. This is my phone. It's all, I, I, I always do Android. And I mean, I don't do, I don't do Apple's. I have a Z Fold. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but I have a Z fold. <clears throat> Telling you, King Nacho Man, what do you think of the next Nintendo will be? Yeah, I don't know, be like. Well, I hope they make them where, where the graphics kind of match the Xbox One or the Xbox Two. Let's hope that they match the xbox 2 that's out right now <laughs> or what is it the xbox series x or something xbox 2 i mean they should be make a switch 3 or something you know they need <laughs> the graphics need to match the xbox 2 or the, the xbox series x or the nintendo or they gotta match the playstation 5 you know i mean it better not be one of those. Um, that's it. Better not be an, another one of those we we like graphics again, you know, because we want we want something more advanced than that, you know. We want Mario Brothers. I use as a real person as Mario. I mean, I want I want to see that. I mean, the moment I see that, I'm gonna be on that game all day long, man. <laughs> Telling you, 93 said pancakes or waffles. I like waffles better. Shan Turtle. What was Joe's last name? His last name was Diaz. D I A S, I believe. It was, I don't know if it was with a Z or an S. I think it was S. D I A S. Joe Diaz. <clears throat> Hi, uh, Metrolink fan. What Galaxy I have? I have this one right here. It's a Z Fold. Yeah, this is a Z Fold 3. I mean, I like it. I mean, why not? I mean, <clears throat> Hill, Hill of you, Gutierrez. Have you ever collected garbage pale kids card? Well, no. I, I did not, I know my sister did have a couple of those. I know I know my sister did have a few of those. <clears throat> Metrolink fan says a new the newest Nintendo is coming out for the Switch. I guess so. I mean that's why I hear Switch 2 or something. Well I hope the graphics it's gonna at least match like the Xbox One or something, you know. Or PlayStation Four, at least. I mean, I hope the graphics is gonna be as cl at least like that one, you know. Now, <laughs> hi King James, hi No Montana. We need a Samsung Galaxy nineteen eighty seven. Telling you, <clears throat> <clears throat> hi. Be kind and cool. Hi. Telling you, you live in Norway, huh? Wow. Norway, huh? Chris Diaz. Well, well, the next Nintendo console will be probably released around 2025-ish, is what I heard. Joe Potato said, I collected Garbage Pail stickers around 1986-87. Oh, yeah? And you still have them? Grupo Nathan DJ. Hi. Hi. 
My new DJ light stand my mom's buy up DJ. Oh yeah. Stand by my mom's buy ups. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I bought a couple of DJ lights, although they're from eBay. They're like little eBay lights, you know, the lasers. They they're really cool, man. And like they were like fifty bucks each or something, and they're lasers. And they make it draws a picture. And that that those lights are really cool, man. I used them for Halloween. That was really cool, man. And I have them, man. I, I should probably put them up again, you know. <clears throat> and then just saying, can I growl like your old videos? Well, I'd be probably embarrassed to do that right now with my family around. So, day, day, uh, day three. Hi. Well, I'm having a good night. Hilavio Gutierrez, do you know where? Okay, Middleton, no, nah, not exactly. Sand Turtle says on the arbitrary, someone named Joe Diaz from Upload Pass at 81 years old. Okay, <clears throat> I wonder, okay. Well, I, I don't think because if Joe was 46 years old in 1992, and 92 was 32 years ago, Add 32 to 46 plus. I, I don't think, well, I don't think that would be the Joe because Joe was 46 when my mom met him in 1992. So <clears throat> 92, 1992 was about, was 32 years ago. And if you add, if you add, um, if you add 32 to 46, that makes it 78 or 79 or something like that. <clears throat> Telling you. Any plan for tomorrow? Well, probably, I don't even know. I'll probably ride my bike or something. Exercise, go to the gym or something. Go to my gym and Planet Fitness. I like to go to the gym sometimes or ride my bike or do more housework or some clean house or something. DJ or oh, 93 DA says, do you build any bike ramps back in the day? Well, I know that we did, you know, like not me specifically, but <clears throat> I know my neighbors back in my day, they did, they, we did do that. And we did bike ramps and we used to jump them. We had, well, I did not used to do that. It was like my neighbor friends that used to do things like that, you know? <clears throat> Joe Potato. I sold him on eBay many years ago for a few books. Should have kept him. Yeah, I mean, I regret selling a few items on eBay, like my Nintendo 64, for an example. What time is it here? It's 9.13 p.m. <clears throat> Danalog video. When was the last time you used my first camcorder? Well, I used it just a, a week ago. <gasps> Telling you, if you're talking about this ruck gambada, well, this one still works. Well, I, I used this one just like probably a week ago, and it works. In fact, I'm going to make a video right now. I hope the battery's charged on this now. I guess it is. I'm going to make a video of you guys right now. Yeah, it's right now. Right now, it's March 16th, 2024. Making a video with you on, on this right now. Yeah, this one's working right now. I mean, this camcorder still works. Now, this is not the same one, though, from my 1988 video. I'm going to look at the comments right here. <laughs> Telling you. Group of Nathan, DJ, the old DJ in 2010 video. After now, yeah. Telling you, what kind of music do I live? I love deep house music, but I also like the 80s and stuff. I'm telling you, look at this. Wow. <clears throat> <Not either. clears throat> Hi, Don Raymond. 
and I get thrilled to hear names that I know so well. <laughs> Don Raymond, do you mom do mom ever get remarried? Nope, never. She never got married again since Joe. No, Montana. Have you gone to the thrift stores? Well, I I go there regularly. I mean, I go to the thrift stores regularly. And I and my kids love to go there. Have I been have I visited Rancho Cucamonga? I haven't gone there lately, but well, my job is in Ontario. Joe Potato pot, Potato. My dad always bought RCA TVs in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. Well, we had an RCA TV in the 70s. <clears throat> I'm telling you. Well, I made a video over in Corona, California the other day, like last week. Yeah. <laughs> Tana Log is asking me, Ruck Kamada. Well, I don't know. It's just being funny because that, that I'm saying room in Spanish or a camera. I mean, because it makes me think, because my, my mom or whenever someone would say room in Spanish or a camera, I think it's a bedroom in Spanish. Every time I would hear it, I would feel like I'm hearing the word camera in it. And so I just nickname a camera, a rock camera. I mean, rock camera, like bedroom in Spanish, or is it room? I think it's bedroom. What's bedroom in Spanish? That's a, I think it's rec, rec camera. That's something like comma. Or, yeah, it's like that. It's like that. I mean, and then I, I hear, I feel like I hear the word camera in the, in the Spanish word rec camera or room, bedroom. In, yeah, there we go. Because it's no Montana. <laughs> Wrote down with a name. See, it, has, it almost spells the word camera. I mean, and that's where, that's why I always say rec camera. <laughs> I mean, I would, because that, that, that's why I like to say rec camera because it, the room, the bedroom in Spanish, it makes me think that they're saying camera, you know, because camera is like a major word in my vocabulary, you know. <clears throat> Telling you. So, a dirty old perv, <laughs> your name, your name is funny. What is my job? Well, my job is YouTube. Well, I want to be anyway. But realistically, my job, I, I drive a forklift in my job. That's what I do for my job. Delirious one. I think I know that name somewhere. Hey, Gil, enjoy your name. Enjoy the rest of your week. Well, YouTube. Epic. Pictasio Medrano. Hi. Grupo Nathan DJ. Are you in San Bernardino? Yes, I am. <laughs> Roddy, Roddy Paulino says that it is laugh at lowing at the word rock camera, the bedroom in Spanish. Because it has that word almost spells camera. I mean, almost spells that part of the word, I mean, it almost has the word camera in it, you know, but only it's an A instead of an E. That's <laughs> funny, man. What's that music universe? What's your go to in and out order? Oh, <clears throat> order. I like, I like to order just a basic cheeseburger and french fries. I love, I love their fries. Do I like my job? Yeah, I mean, it can be kind of fun driving the forklift sometimes, but it gets boring. My job is boring, you know. But well, I I like it better if there's all that if there's a lot of work to do. I mean, I like it better because I don't I get less bored if there's plenty of work. But when when the job slows down too much, I get bored. It's agony. Like if it's like a really slow day, it's agony in the job because I get bored. I like it better if there's a, a lot for me to do so that way the time goes faster, you know. <clears throat> 93 is asking me, have I ever been to Mexico? Well, I've been to Mexico when I was a kid. 
Actually, I think the battery is charged enough on my computer to go back in the living room. So the lighting is better there. <clears throat> I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to go to the other living room. Let me see if there's a place. Yeah, I'll just go to this living room. <clears throat> I think there's enough gasoline in this computer now. <laughs> Telling you. Oh, man, it's, it's too bright now. I don't know what's going on now. Shit. It's too bright. I don't know. I mean, I don't even know how to set up this computer, so it's not going to record so bright like that. Oh, actually, maybe it, it automatically adjusted. <clears throat> I'll just go with this couch or this chair. Okay. <clears throat> there, that's better. Okay. So have I ever been to Hi uh Roddy Paulino again? How's it going? It's going pretty good. Not bad. I'm telling you. Group Nathan. Group Nathan DJ, where are your DJ? It, it, yeah, I still have it in the garage. The my DJ equipment is still in the garage. I, I still love I still love to use it. I mean, once in a while. I mean, but only thing though, only thing though that in, in this new neighborhood I live in now, compared to the last one, I, there's no one to show off the music to anymore. <laughs> Not that I should even care. Hi, uh, Ken. Shit. <laughs> I, I hope I'm not pronouncing your name wrong. Ken. Shit. Tim, Tim, hi. Hip hop is asking me, do I miss my Mazda? Well, I mean, I'm neutral now. Telling you, well, yeah, well, my my red one I did back in the day, but yeah, I feel like my lips are kind of drooping this way. It's I always had a problem with that. It's always been like that on me, the palsy on. What are they? Bells, palsy. Well, the Mazda, I mean, I'm neutral about it now. I mean, like, it's just a car. I mean, King Nacho Man, does Jenny Lynch still have OF? What's that? I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, anyways. <clears throat> Joe Potato says, uh, my sister had a Mazda 66 in 1988. It was my aunt's, and I think it was a 1983. I I love though. I love that car when I had it. When I had though, when I had the car, I I loved it. You know, when I had it, I mean, tr 2 yx Is there a story behind the one song called "The Ring Call Me" that was recorded off the radio? Do you know who recorded it and why? Oh, well, yeah, the song, I, I know one of you, it was someone who actually told me the name of that song because I was looking for the name of that song. <clears throat> and then I finally got the name and, and then I was happy to finally get it, get get it. I was finally able to track down that song that I recorded off the radio back in 1981. <clears throat> What's the story behind it? Well, what's my well? I recorded when I was eleven years old. I I recorded a piece of that song. It came on the radio, and it's just a random song, and I recorded it. And then from that time on, nineteen eighty one, it was only a part of that song because I only recorded a piece of that song. And from that point on, I I wanted to know the name of that song. I wanted to be able to get the whole recording of it. And it was not until just like maybe a few months ago that I finally got the name and I finally was able to track down that song, you know, <clears throat> because back in the day, Mike, when I was a kid, I used to like to record music off the radio. I mean, and a lot of, a lot of my music collection was like part song, you know, part of a song, you know, 
And it was not until like 20 years later that I was able to track the names down and buy the albums of them. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> that was a big sneeze right there. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Did I ever have a close call with the Honda scooter? Wow, well, I had a million of them. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you know about an accident that I had on that scooter back in 1991. It's almost like now it's almost going to be a 33-year anniversary. This May will be a 33-year anniversary of that accident. <clears throat> when I had an accident on that scooter on the freeway. Because I had a flat tire. I had a blowout on the front tire while I was riding on the freeway. I was going like 55 miles an hour on the freeway, like in the fast lane somewhere. I mean, it was not that much traffic at the time. <clears throat> and I had a blowout. The front tire, I had a blowout, and it made me lose control. And, and, and I guess I ran into a car. Well, I did not run into a car, but it's like I swerved in front of a car and then rear-ended. That car rear-ended me back then you know but if it was other close calls besides that accident i had a close call one time when i was racing this car because i i had the attitude that i didn't like cars going faster than me <laughs> i was on the street you know like i was i was on the street and so i was all going so fast i was driving riding the scooter like 60 miles an hour on, on the on the streets on a 35 mile an hour zone <clears throat> and then and then suddenly traffic stopped and i thought it was just cars being dumb and being slow i thought the cars were just being slow and so i just wanted to evade the slow traffic by just uh kind of like uh what do we call it changing lanes like i went onto the shoulder of the road and then and then right at the last second i didn't realize that it was a red light it was a red light that time, and that's why my car slowed down. Apparently, I mean, I was I was crazy back then, man. And then I was I was riding really crazy back then, you know, like. And then suddenly, uh, I realized that it was a red light, and it was too late for me to stop on time. And so I made the biggest break for it, but it was no use, no use. And I ran the red light. I mean, I ran right through the light. I blew right through the light so damn lucky i didn't have a car going that way at the time damn i, I could have been killed there i mean could have killed myself there I, mean, I was crazy man i was crazy back then riding 60 miles an hour on a 35 mile an hour zone and not realizing it was a red light at until the last minute and it was too late to stop on time so i made a break for it screeching tires for like 200 feet but I could not stop the thing on time, so I blew through that red light, man. That was a scary close call I had, man. That was, but luckily, no cars were there, and I went through like no problem, you know. But that, that could have been a truck that would, would would have been going that way, man. And that could have been I could have been done there. I mean, but luckily, you know, <clears throat> that was a big story I have about that scooter. That was like the closest call I had with one of those things, man. Grupo Nacho. Oh, no. Grupo Nathan. My dad in 2001 in a Ferrari. At, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dad. I'm telling. Did you ever work as a DJ? Well, I wanted to work as a DJ, sort of. <clears throat> but I just didn't want the the risk of getting in trouble with cops or things like that. I mean, I, I don't know how it goes. And I, I didn't want to, like, take any chances of DJing in a dangerous area or something like that. I, I kind of, that's just the way I felt, you know. Well, I know I did a gig once or twice. Well, actually, I, well, I did gigs a few times, but most of them was with family. But... But I did one gig with some stranger. I mean, and it went it went fine. But I mean, I didn't do any more after that. I mean, I just didn't feel like doing them anymore. Dan, log video. Are all of your live stream quests 
Well, yeah, why not? I mean, I mean, wow, well, they they all they all been basically all of my streams have basically been answered question and answers. I mean, a lot of people like to ask questions and yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, I you know, I just do these streams just to say hi or just to talk. Just to talk just for fun. <clears throat> Usually it's fun to do. It's sometimes fun for me, but I don't do these that often. But because I know you guys want to see me live and stuff, you know, it's it is it is basically a question and answer thing, you know. But this is basically me today in twenty twenty four versus some of those videos that you seen me on, like nineteen eighty eight. Of course, I recorded myself in nineteen eighty eight, and so this is me today versus nineteen eighty eight or versus nineteen nineties, and this is me today. This is how I look today. <laughs> Versus the one from the 90s, you know. So, it's like videos. I mean, Felix the Cat. <clears throat> Who's my youth favorite YouTuber? I like the informational channels. There's two of them that I like to look at. Two of my favorites, I could say. Scotty Kilmer is one of them. I like the information. Very useful information that I hear. And the other one is a economy it's an economy channel. His name is Clear Value Tax. And he talks about how the economy is going and like what we can expect if the economy is going to be bad or not. They say, I mean, so far he says that um, the inflation is like still kind of like still up there. And, and he doesn't think a housing crash is exactly going to happen or it's going to it's going to take more force so to speak, for a housing crash to happen. You know, like a lot of people think a housing crash is going to happen or a lot of people think that we're going to have another 1929. And then, the, and then of course, he's going to give me, he's going to give information about how the economy is going and what to expect. And so they say the economy is going down and I'm, I'm, we're bracing for any economy going down. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're ready. I'm ready for it. I mean, yeah, because we don't have any car payments. So I'm, I'm getting ready by making sure that we hey, save money, right? I mean, we have money lying around. We have money held into our, we're holding on money. So we, we're, we're not worried about it. I mean, and I don't have any car payments and I don't have any, um, and any, um, credit cards. So we're, I mean, like I'm bracing for, I like to, so those are my two YouTube, two favorite channels. Clear Valley Tax then and Scotty Kilmer. It's all information. I like to hear information about what things are what's going on in the world today, you know. And they're the only two that I really like to look. I just look at information channels mostly. <laughs> Telling you. Hi expensive. That's your name there. <laughs> Hi, the Spartan. Hi. Joe Potato. I had a Honda scooter in 1983. Top speed was yeah. I'm familiarized with those. It might be. It could be a um Honda Aero 50 CC. It might be a 50 CC, huh? They might. I I remember the scooters from 1983. I tell you, when Raymond had one of those, Ray, my cousin, you know, he yeah, had one. I think it was a borrowed one, and I rode on it, man. Ever, ever since I rode that first scooter, I wanted one, man. I really wanted one, man. I thought it was so much fun to ride those things, man. Young Savage Money. Hi. You're the same age as my dad. dad. He grew up at the same age. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, <Wow>. congratulations. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I'm just being funny. Telling you. Lola La Cava. Which decade was the coolest to live in for me? Um, if I was going to have to say a quick answer to that. Probably two thousands, because that's when the that's when the technology like the the cool technology started going in like without taking over the the technology without taking over the world you know that that's when I like the MP3 players and and the CDR or or the MP3s and putting everything onto the computer that's when it started so the the deck two thousands decade was cool was a cool decade for me I mean. <clears throat> That's my opinion, though, for the time being, you know. 
Nathan DJ. I watched DJ Gilbert 2000. I'm telling you. Very good. 93 says, do you ever get nervous making YouTube videos? No, I don't. I mean, not, not making, wow, well, YouTube video. Well, if you're talking about getting a camera out in the public, yes, I can. I do get a little nervous uh, depending on where I'm making the video. But, but the best way I could uh, avoid the anxiety is get on that bike and put the GoPro on my head. I ride my bike all over the place, including parking lot, and I can face people all I want wearing the GoPro on my head. And then I don't have to worry about them getting offended because they think I'm recording them. I mean, that I could ride my bike all I want, facing people all I want with my GoPro, and, and I'm good right there. I'm good. But if I'm out there getting a camcorder, forget it. I mean, I cannot have a camcorder in the public recording everything because they're going to think I'm recording them and they're going to get offensive. Yes. I get nervous if I'm using a camcorder or, or like, or if I'm pointing directly at them with my phone, even my phone too. But, but you know, the 360 camera, I mean, if I have a 360 camera, I just point the lens away from people so they don't think I'm recording them, but, but it actually is recording them in secret because it's a 360 camera but i just point the lens away from them so they don't think so the 360 is good it's a great camera to use because i mean i'm recording everything and i don't have to worry about it i mean i don't have to worry about missing a good shot you know like because the camera is recording all around so i don't get as nervous recording on a 360 camera i mean with the 360 camera regardless if i'm riding my bike or not but the lead of, the, but the uh, times where I get the least nervous is riding my bike with a GoPro on my head, recording. You know, like I could record life, and nobody will know. Well, nobody will think I'm actually recording them directly, and I don't have to worry about it. And not only that, I get a really good video recording with the GoPro on my head, and 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 that it makes a good shot riding my bike recording life and that's the best way to record life getting the bike with the gopro on your head or you can run too you could do your jogging or something that's the best way to make a video of life without the worry of somebody getting mad at you you know you just yeah like that i mean that that's the best and then not only that you get really good shots doing that you know Chan, Chauncey Yabanis, hi. What years had the best music? I well, the eighties. I like the nineties. I like the nineties house music, deep house, eighties. I think eighties. Well, that's my seventies, sixties, and seventies. That's my opinion, though. I mean, I liked some music in the nineties too. I mean, well, I'm old school. I mean. Joe Potato, Arrow 80. Yeah, I remember the Arrow 80s. I used to have an Elite 80. I had a, a Honda Elite 80. It was a 1986. I had one of those. And then I sold that one to buy a, an Elite 150. I loved that scooter back then. I loved that scooter, that Elite 150. But I, I was a bad boy on, on that thing, though. I used to like to break a lot of laws with that, you know? <laughs> I like to ride fast all the time, you know, but I, I was putting myself in danger without them um, thinking about it. I mean, but apparently I'm still alive now. I mean, but I could have killed myself that day on the freeway. I mean, when I had the blowout, <laughs> young savage money. Hi, do you ever miss the 2000s? Well, I do. I mean, and I do and I don't. I'm neutral. I mean, I would say this person's name is Mike Hawk. <laughs> yeah, that, the when you combine the word, it's like saying my item. <laughs> guy, Grupo Nathan, I love music in 2013. That video, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, hi, um, Hawk, hi, Savage, young Savage Money. Did you watch me and myself, Irene? And well, no. I'm not exactly familiarized with that. I don't have my N64 Hawk. 
I don't I don't have it apparently, unfortunately. John D. I'm in North San Bernardino. I was just thinking today I may need to get a bike so my son and I can ride towards C S U B S B. Well that's the uh, well you're supposed to say hi to me when, when you go when you get on that bike or something. You're supposed to come over here and say hi. <laughs> So just don't forget to come over here and say say hi in person. Telling you. Or I'll ride my bike in the area and 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 then I'll just say hi to you there. <laughs> and telling you. Yeah, John D. Yeah. <clears throat> North San Bernardino. Yeah, okay, that's where I'm at. I'm in North San Bernardino. I'm really close to I'm pretty close to CVS and that school. I'm pretty close to that school that uh college marcus dixon hi I like watching the old me well, i'm g glad that you do you come to the right place telling you hawk says is that the scooter you crank yeah why well, i the scooter i was talking about was a 150 yes the elite 150 i had i used to have an elite 150 <laughs> And I wrecked that one, you know. Could have killed myself on that scooter, too, man. Strelats. Strelats. Hang on. <clears throat> Hi. So from Argentina, huh? No, Montana. The 80s had all the music. I, I, I like I liked the 80s music. And I liked the, the 70s, too. I mean, and 60s as well. I mean. 93 looking to Chicago house music. You'll, you'll love it. And give it time before I hit <laughs> Chicago. I, I like house music in general. I mean, Deep House, though, is my favorite kind from the 90s specifically. But I like Deep House music in general. I mean, that's my favorite kind of house music. And tell you young savage money. It's cool that you show us videos in the 80s. Well, I'm glad to be able to do such a thing. Because a lot of people who have videos would be a, would be shied out to show them, you know. Let me see. Telling you. And day 19. Hi. From Kuwait. All uh, well. Very good. TYX. Do you like new wave music? Well, I, I know I liked new wave too i mean if it's from the 80s yeah i mean john joe potato that's the way it was we didn't have safety nets back then oh yeah i'm telling you no montana i've been getting into freestyle music lately well yeah i mean i have music is it's a nice way to, to i mean it's nice to be into older music like that yeah king mafasia <laughs> like the uh, Lion King, <laughs> telling you, hi, Danalog video. What thrift stores do you usually buy vintage items? Well, ain't all they all they all have them. All thrift stores have them, you know. But I mean, I like I like to go to well, specifically the ones in one in San Bernardino. It's called Eco Thrift Store in San Bernardino. And another one is called uh, Mega Thrift Store in Rialto. Well, that's in my area. That's the one that I like to go. I like to go to the Goodwill store too sometimes. Stray Letch. I like the videos from the 90s, especially the one about the first PC. Oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah. That's the one my brother bought that one for $3,000, you know, in 1996. <laughs> Kesella. What's my favorite car? Well, I mean, I had a lot of questions about that. And I think overall, I think the car that I like the most more than there's two cars I could say. No number one favorite car was my 1984 66, a red one that I used to have. When I had that car from night, I bought that car as an eight year old car back in 92. That was my, that was my favorite car of all time. But now another favorite car right now is my Kia It's my, 2013 Kia Rio. I mean, that I, I that car is probably one of my favorites of all time. Apparently, because I have it right now, I'm using it right now. That car has been good to me. I mean, 
I like my car. I mean, the Kia, because it's a stick shift. It's fun. I mean, it's fun to drive the car. I mean, I like my car. I had it for 11 years. I had it since brand new. I mean, so so those are my two favorite cars. I, I mean, the number two. But if I was going to pick one, if I was going to pick one or the other, probably the Mazda 66, the red one, was my ultimate favorite car or the car that I enjoyed the most in owning. But followed by this uh, uh, Kia Rio, the 13. 2013 <coughs> telling you chris diaz have you heard they actually might ban the tactic the app tiktok and how does it feel yeah i don't know about how my family would feel if it actually does get banned but for me i don't use tiktok so i mean i wouldn't really i wouldn't i wouldn't have anything to say about it because i'm not i don't use tiktok i just use youtube yeah, I've been hearing about that. So I wonder if they really are. I wonder if they really, but I think there's going to be some, somebody's going to somehow find a way having to, to use that app. You know, I, I'm sure there's somebody going to be finding a way to do that. You know, but then again, you know, somebody will get fined for it or something. I don't know. <coughs> Trace and have you have to keep a docket? all the time ha have to keep a docket of all the i'm telling i'm telling you yeah you're right like i know it's like saying um <clears throat> if you could get a dollar for every time i say that you you'd probably you'd probably be able to buy a house by now <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, or you could probably buy a car with all the. If I if you got a dollar for every time I said I'm telling you, you could probably all buy a car <laughs> or a house too. <laughs> I'm telling you. So yeah, young savage money. Is your dad still alive? I mean, and yeah, he's. I mean, my dad's still around. I went to my dad's house. You know recently yeah i'm I still notice that this is down man. yeah because it feels like it's sagging that's bell's palsy you know still have that man <coughs> let me see is your dad still out i mean well uh, how did you feel when he uh, well if you're talking about when my dad you know like my childhood day well you know, i i surely didn't like it you know, i did not like that i actually hear and have a video talking about that talking about my days with my dad i actually have a video and i think i titled it how i was disciplined as a kid I mean, I do have a video, of, and then I even have a video of when my dad was hitting me in action. Not a video; it's not a video, but it was an audio cassette that I recorded of my dad hitting me, and and it, it sounds pretty gnarling too. I mean, like I have it on YouTube, you know, for people who are interested in seeing that, you know. But that this happened so many years ago. I mean, they were talking about like 1982. I mean, that's what 42 years ago. I mean. This video is titled um, How I Was Disciplined as a Kid. And then at the end of that video, I actually posted uh, a, a sound recording of my dad hitting me, you know, back then. So, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> so, I heard that all Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and Family Dollar are closing. Man, I mean, I get. I I was hearing about that they're closing some of them. So I, I'm surprised that they would be going bankrupt because everybody would want to go there because the the, the the stuff are only a dollar. I mean, I would think that when people go broke or when the economy goes bad, that people that the first place that people I would think of it that way, but apparently not. I mean, <laughs> excuse me. Hawk said, Gilby, the video you want went to your dad recently, the girl with the packer, that was your stepsister. Yeah, yeah, so that's, um, her name is Teresa. Yeah, that was my stepsister from the 90s videos. Yeah, the Christmas video, yes. 
That's how she looks like now. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Potato. I like your brother's light blue road runner he had. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me again. That was actually a um a, a Plymouth satellite he had. Well, yeah, it was a 1972. Yeah, I mean, my dad, he liked that car. I mean, I mean, I guess. Purple Rain said, hi. How are you girls doing? Oh, they're doing good. 93 says, did you ever get into a fight with your brother? Oh, yeah, I had, I had a bunch of them back. I had a bunch of fights with my brothers. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah it's kind of normal. Okay, well, here's another dollar for all of you. I'm telling you, well, for everybody who's trying to get a dollar for every time I say I'm telling you, so you could collect enough money to buy that car or house that you want. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hair. Dino Bravo, what's up? Hi. Did anyone in the street get mad at you? Well, yeah, people dang, I, I, I I've had that a few times, you know. But people don't do that if I have a GoPro on my head riding my bike. They don't do that. But but you know, but, but I probably wouldn't dare get a, a camcorder and record the public, you know. Like I would make sure I'm not pointing directly at anybody <clears throat> with a camcorder. Cause they're they're gonna in today's time, they're gonna think I'm recording them and they're gonna get offensive, you know. So I don't I don't want to do that anymore. I mean, if I have a camcorder, I would make sure I'm pointing away from them, you know. Otherwise, otherwise I'll just get the GoPro or the 360 camera, and I'll just ride my bike and and I could record them all I want, and I could be close to them if I want to, and they and they're not gonna know that I'm actually recording them, you know. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm telling you. Yeah, I want to make an I'm telling you hat. I'm telling you. Let me see. Young Savage Money. How come you, I recorded my dad that hitting me back in 1982? Well, apparently I was just recording because I love to record. I mean, video. I like to record uh, on cassettes, you know, like. I loved recording my voice. I loved doing that back in the day. And then, and I just happened to be recording right when I was getting in trouble with my dad, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, because I was playing with Cynthia. I was playing around the horse, horse playing with Cynthia, throwing pillows or at her and stuff. And when she was little, I mean, she was two years old at the time. <clears throat> and one time I threw a pillow at Cynthia, like horse playing. And she fell, and then and then and then she started busting into crying, and 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 it was just not like any normal cry. It was just like a crying, like a type of cry, like like if she got badly injured, you know. You know how some kids are very dramatic when they cry. Some kids, and she was one of those very dramatic when she cries. Went back then, you know, back there was back in nineteen eighty two. And she sounded like she got so badly injured, you know. And then, and and then my dad came steaming in the room, and he thought that I threw Cynthia across the room, which it, it was not the case. I just threw a pillow at her, and then and then that's when my dad beat me up for because he thought that I threw Cynthia across the room, you know. <laughs> I'll never forget that day. I mean, I was pretty pissed off at my dad at that time, you know, for being like that, you know, for, for being like that, you know, I tell you. <laughs> <clears throat> for, like, like, uh, like uh, accusing me of things that I didn't do, you know. Joe Potato, some teachers and principals wouldn't hit you back in the savvy. No, yeah, actually, yes. I know. I heard a lot of stories about that, like one, well, like the pre pre eighties. Yes, eighties, and well, no later than eighties. I think I know. I, I had teachers pulling my hair in the eighties. You know, like oh yeah. I mean, the early eighties. You know, I know. Like well, I know it happened in Mexico. They they used to pull our hair. Around. Their favorite thing to do was pull hair. I mean, 
Like whenever they wanted, whenever you got in trouble with a teacher, they would pull your hair. I mean, they mostly would pull your hair. That's what they used to they, And I think they did used to hit you too. I mean, well, in the teachers, yes, you're right, Joe Potato, all that. I, I know I heard stories about teachers actually belting you. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, I heard that. But but back then, they were, but in today's time, if you can't do that in today's time because it's going to be some major controversy if you hear that, if you hear about it today. I mean, but my opinion is that they should bring that back, you know, being, being allowed to hit kids, you know, but I mean, when they deserve it. I mean, sometimes students deserve to be hit, you know, but. In today's times, you can't do that in today's time because you're going to get into major trouble for it. I mean, in today's time with, with the Karens that we have today, Karen parents that we have today. Yeah. And the way the laws are and stuff, you know. <clears throat> Julian Saul, where do you live now? I'm, I li I'm in San Bernardino. I live in North San Bernardino. Hawk says, Gilby, does Hector still come? And we, well, he doesn't really do that often, but we, we live close now. We live close enough now to be able to do that. Hi, JG. Hawk says, telling you, Gilby, you're aging great. Well, thank you very much for your comment. Telling you, looking younger than, you're looking younger than Arnold. I'm telling you. Very good. Well, thank you very much for your comment. Very nice. <laughs> Tender Immortal. Hi, Gil. How many of your original video cameras use? Well, if we're talking about original ones, like like the ones, the same ones that I had from those videos, well, I think it's probably about two. It's my Canon Allura 80, that mini TV. And then I have my original 1996 RCA VHS. I still have that, and I'm the original owner of those two. And that's it, though. JG, I don't speak Spanish, apparently. Joe Potato said my sister had an old lady teacher that would slap her hand. Yeah, slapping hands, you know. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was, a, that was a common thing I would hear about back in the days, you know. I know my teacher did pull my hair, but it, apparently this was in Mexico, though. I mean, my, my teacher never used to hit me. Well, I know that I know my teacher kind of pulled my hair in the late seventies one time because I did something naughty, and then they put me at the corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do that. They used to do that, you know, back in the day, you know. <clears throat> Hawk says, Gilly, no, i no, man. Saying turtle, what was that video where you talked to your dad about your childhood and, huh? Oh, what, what was that? What was that video where you talked to your dad about, uh, well, I don't know, if you're talking, well, they might be one of those. I'm not sure. Well, they probably might be a dad visit or something. Yeah, I was talking to my dad about my childhood life. With him, you know, I think I think this might be from two thousand one, two thousand two, or one of those. Or it, it was probably in the early two thousand. I have to find it. I mean, <clears throat> Dreadlets. Will you upload videos from two thousand? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna be. Well, I'm supposed to be getting on those two thousand four videos. <clears throat> Ninety three says you ever think about moving out of California? I'm not. Well, I mean, I, I got too used to it over here. This really, it would be difficult to adjust to any new area, and so I probably the answer to that is probably going to be no. I mean, at least not right now, not anytime soon, because I'm I'm used to it here. I mean, it, it would be very difficult to adjust to any new location that I move to. You know. Julian's. I, I heard a lot of stories about people who moved to another state and then they came back to California because they couldn't take it. I mean, they could not take the change. You know, it was too much for them. Yeah. Julian, Saul, were you able to digitalize? Well, they all are. They all are digitalized already. I, I digitalized all of them since 2007. 
so yeah so every one of my old video cassettes you know like they're all on the computer right now so the paddle board in the 80 yeah i'm familiarized with that story of the paddle board getting hit i think on the rear on the butt with the paddle boards a teacher used to do yeah on the rear yeah i heard stories like that although i never been through that but I know I had my hair pulled by teachers before. I mean, I had that happen to me before. Hawk, well, yeah, Hector moved out a long time ago. He moved out a few months ago, and he's over here in Victorville, California right now. He bought a brand new house in Victorville just a few months ago. Well, nice, Trace. And well, I'm going to give you more i'm telling you telling you okay that's more money for you <laughs> i'm telling you very good <laughs> tender immortal how many recorded tapes do you have lost I, I answered that question earlier but you know what i lost only one in my entire life i lost only one o only one but i mean sadly i lost one through thieves through a thief but I mean, wow! Well, when they stole my camcorder and in a burglary, you know, that's it. I mean, did you vlog during night? Yeah, I did. I mean, I actually have a video up on right now. I did not vlog talking about nine one one, but I did make a video around that time. You know, G Richard Gunther, house torpedo. Do I mean the last time I heard about him or Jose? If you're talking about my cousin. He feels good the last time I heard about him. Ever do I ever feel anger towards my dad? No, I don't no more. That I, I, I that's long gone. I, mean, I have none, none whatsoever right now. But of course, you know, like thinking about my past, yeah, I may have I just think about the past. It's just the past that I get mad about, you know, like the past, only the past. But I, I I'm not mad at my dad at all. None at all right now. I mean, I have none at all right now today, but I mean, well, it's like I forgave my dad years and years ago. I mean, like my dad, I mean, like I have none, none whatsoever anger with my dad. I mean, none at all. But I mean, <clears throat> but back then I had my little life. But, I mean, it's over. I mean, it's all over. So, I mean, I mean, it's, but although I cannot forget it, but it's all over. It's over. I mean, so. I'm, I'm, I'm all, I'm good. I mean, I'm all 100% forgiven, you know, but anyway, telling you, have I been to San Diego? Well, last week, well, we didn't go to San Diego, but we went to, uh, uh, we went to a beach nearby. Yoshi. Hi, Yoshi. <laughs> Hey, Gail, I'm 25 and struggle with anxiety and social anxiety and any tips. Why? I mean, I actually have a bunch of videos. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, sometimes, you know, the, the, the quickest way, the quickest tip I can give you about that is just to get outside and walk or something. Just get out, get a get away or just get outside and walk around the block or something, you know, just get out and walk around or ride that bike or something you know just just breathe that fresh air i mean that's the quickest thing i could tell you i mean or you could just talk to somebody like who's a, who's i'm really gonna have to come plug in this computer because it's i don't have i don't have i have to plug it in because this thing is running out of gasoline <clears throat> the computer's running out of gas my expression again telling you <clears throat> yoshi huh or you could talk to me right now if you want i mean about anxiety and stuff maybe i should probably put lives to like strictly for anxiety you know maybe i should do that well then my first tip is for you to just Go out, just get out and breathe the fresh air and walk a block or something, you know, just and just totally think about something else, you know, like.
should move your mind to something else. Um, do I still have a Strelet saying? Do I do you do you still have the Sega Genesis? You know, I do. I mean, well, it's not the same one. It's not the same one, apparently. But I mean, but I have a Genesis. <coughs> Jay Carrasco, have you been to? Yeah, I went to. Well, Carol's Bad is where I went to just last week. Manny is asking me, I'm selling. Am I still? Well, I don't have any for sale at the moment, unfortunately. Man, oh, you still have that shirt, huh? God dang, I need to get myself in it. I, I, I just don't have the, 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 don't have the uh, push that I need to get myself doing that, you know? <clears throat> Prince of Persia, how come Hector left Vegas shortly after move? Well, he was actually living in Vegas for like three years, but he 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 just didn't really like it over there because California is because his job is over here, and because because the job market sucks over there. I mean, he says, you know, I mean, because the wages suck over there in Vegas. Yeah, that's that's why. I mean, that's one of the reasons why. I mean. Jillian, so how's your mom doing? Does she have any plans for coming back to? Well, I mean, she has to come back here every so often because of her social security, from what I heard. So my mom is going to be visiting California like maybe three times a year, she says. Like maybe three times a year, she says. Yeah. <clears throat> so the sand turtle. So your dad dad lived in the same place. Yeah, my dad, my dad's still in the same um house in Corona, California. Joe Potato said your dad looks like he's doing good. I mean, yeah, he's eighty, he's eighty-seven, my dad. I mean, he's actually doing he's actually pretty good condition, you know. My dad is still in good health. He's still pretty good health for his age, for the hell. He's still walking and he still talks well. I mean, like his, not, his memory is still good that, that I know of. I mean, of course, it's declining a little bit, but he's still he's still active, you know, for his age. You know, I mean, he still works. I mean, he still uh, walks and uh, things like that. I mean, he's not it's not like he's like growing old with a cane thing. He's not like that. I mean, dad, I'm mean, not dad. is actually doing good for how old he is right now. I mean. And I hope I'll still be good like that when I get that old, you know. And I hope I'll be making YouTube videos when I turn 87 years old. <laughs> well, I wonder if even YouTube will even be around when I'm 87 years old. <laughs> Blue Jay Mix. Hi. <laughs> Sneeze again. Have I been to the Filipinas? <clears throat> our plans to go. I want to go to Philippines, but I, I've been to Philippines. I even actually have videos of Philippines. I actually have some videos. Well, I'm glad to be able to do a live right now uh, for a hawk. <laughs> Jones look, says, looking good, Gil. I hope it's all yeah, Well, thank you very much. I thank all of you guys so much for you guys just comment about looking good and everything. Well, thank you very much for all of those comments. Telling you, yeah, everything's good. I mean, it's all good. Joe Potato, I would like to go to Philippines by the end of this year. Well, you should go there. It's, it's fun. I, I, I like Filipinas. I like to say the word Filipinas, but and I mean, I, I like the people there. They're they're really nice and they're humble. And the people are like laid, very laid back there. I mean, they're, they're, they're really nice and friendly there, or at least that I know of. And I mean, well, they were. I mean, everybody was very friendly to me there. And not anything like here, at least in California anyway. <clears throat> Hi, I'm old Dirty Castro. <laughs> Bobby Mel, hi, hi. Hawk said, 
Did your mom go back to Jalisco? Well, I think she's near, near there. She's living in Mexico right now, and she loves it. I mean, she's really happy there right now because there's no drama, no drama, nothing. That's got to be nice, man, to not have to go through any drama over there. No drama over there. It's been around. <clears throat> telling you. Let me see. John Marston for 20 years. So it probably will be. Joe Potato, my dad is 76. He needed a lot of operation. Yeah. And you know, apparently my dad, my dad never really needed operations, you know. Apparently, apparently you know, my dad though, I mean, it's been good I mean, on that part. I mean my dad never I needed operation. I mean, he has had to go to he never I don't think he even ever had surgery either. I hope me, I hope I never need to. Well, and I did have cancer back in 20 years ago, 20 more than about 20 years ago. I had I had a cancer. <clears throat> but I had an operation on that part to remove that part. But I've been good since, so So uh, Prince of uh, Pierce uh, Gilbert, do you remember man, Tijuana for cheap dental work? Well, I heard about a lot of people doing work in Tijuana, and I, I heard that they they do good well. They do the job well there. I mean, for the pride, although although like the anesthesia or whatever may not be as good or something. That's what I heard, you know. I heard about it. I mean, but but it might be a little bit more dangerous. To, to get work done and dent over because they 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 they're um they're um their their licensing or whatever that is or or their know how may not be as good as it is over here in USA. But I've heard about a lot of people doing work and they and they do their job well. I mean and it, it is indeed a lot cheaper. I mean and I, I've seen it. I mean I but sometimes they, uh, I heard stories too that they did something bad and it killed someone or or got them seriously ill. But I, I mean, I think that's not very often that it happens. So, <clears throat> Mike Hawk says, "Gil, you will, Gil, we will. You'll be strong as a bull. I hope I will when I turn thirty years older." <laughs> Telling you, JJ, hi. Jillian Soul, do you guys? Go, well, I, I I can't remember the last time I went to TJ. I think I was a kid. I was like probably like ten years old the last time I went to uh, TJ. <laughs> Telling you, while well, Mike Hawk is laughing at me because I said the name in full. Telling you, Mike Hawk. <laughs> You guys, man, your names, man. I'm telling you, Stray Lich. What is your favorite song from the '80s? I like. <clears throat> this may not be an '80s song, but I like the song by Starbuck. Uh, Moonlight feels right. Matt Raspberry, I had to sit through four commercials to get here, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry that the commercials was a pain in the rump. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, well, thank you for your blessing of me for sneezing. <laughs> 93 says, what do you think of is going to happen in 2024? Yeah, that's a good question. What do I think is going to happen this year? Well, I I, 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 mean, I don't even know, really. I mean, maybe war. I don't know. I mean, maybe somebody's going to want to start war. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, Gorfin D. Hi. Like the new camera on the stick. I, that, that one, the camera on the stick. Well, that one is, that's my Insta360. I'll show it to you right now. I don't know what it meant. Oh. 
I'm telling you. <coughs> telling you. That's in my ruck gamada. Well, this is a... <coughs> excuse me. This is my Insta360. It's a 360-degree camera. So, yeah. This is the stick that I'm using. It's called... It's a... They call it an invisible stick. Yeah. And I just go walk around with this camera and I don't have to point it in any new, any specific way. I just, just stick it out in front of me. I mean, I just stick the camera out in front of me and it, it's going to record everything all around. <coughs> so, yeah. Hawk said, your mom deserves that. She raised your family by herself. I'm telling you, very good. <clears throat> Patrick Bateman, Jelly Donuts. Well, I'm, I'm not into those. <laughs> good seeing you. It's like Vic Chavez. Did, did you guys see snow this year? Nope. We didn't get snow this year, unfortunately. Or at least not yet. JJ said, ja, 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 ja. I think that's laughing in Spanish, I guess. Jeffrey, I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> I'm telling you. <clears throat> Talk to someone that you know that you know about. It and while that sounds like you might be, um, well, then what does it sound like? Yeah, you're probably like, it's like, sounds like if you're graduated and you just don't know what to do next, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> well. Have I been to Central California? Nope, never been there. Julian Soul. How many cameras do I have? I have a bunch of them. <laughs> I have a lot of them. I probably have at least 20 of them. <laughs> Jeffrey said, I live in Ohio. Very good. Hi, Louis one. Nathan, DJ, my house. DJ, me to tomorrow at Sunday. Oh, yeah. In the rain, huh? Louis one, I love your videos and your beautiful family. Well, thank you very much. <clears throat> for your comment. Mike Hawk. Telling you. E camera. Oh yeah. Louis one. My, that's cool. Very good. I'm telling you. AM. Hi. Greetings from Texas. We love your videos. I grew up in El Anaheim in the 90s, huh? 93. Any words of wisdom for a young YouTube channel? Young, are you talking about someone who's brand new at YouTube? Well, I can tell you one thing. You just be you. Just be you. And and basically post videos because you like doing it, not because you're trying to get views or, or, or for the sole purpose of getting views because it's going to put a lot of anxiety on you on that. So you just do the things that you like to do. It just be you, and you just do what you like to do. <clears throat> do I prefer longer days or short? I like longer days, naturally. Oh, yeah, big time. Uh, Joe Potato, the invisible selfie stick. I had to look for a video after seeing you. you... Oh, yeah, well, this is an Insta360 camera, but I also have a GoPro. GoPro. I actually also have a GoPro Max. This is a 360 camera as well. But I, I like the, the Insta360 better, though. Do I drink alcohol? Nope. King Mopas, yeah. And that, I don't drink. <clears throat> Sergio24. Well, I cannot read the language, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't read. I cannot read the Spanish language. Christius. Man, in eight months, he'll be 24. I'm telling you, I remember when I was 24 years old. I was 24 in 1994. <coughs> so, Sergio Strelitz. 
Your video is incredible. The videos from the 80s and 90s look like a vlog. Yeah, they do. Huh? I mean, because I used to always like to talk in the camera, you know. But, you know, what was in my mind and what was in my mind when I was talking in the camera, it was all personal use. Because, like, I, like when I when I knew that I was going to be seeing my videos years later, I mean, like, when I would listen to myself talking, I would be able to... So that way I can personally remember what was in my mind at that time when I made that video. I mean, yeah, that, that's what was in my mind, you know, like when I talked in the camera, it was so that way I can remember so I can help myself remember what was in my mind at that time. So that it was all for that purpose. But it was it was nothing to do with thinking that there was going to be a YouTube in the future, you know, but <clears throat> I had no clue that YouTube would show up in the future or that I would be sharing this worldwide. And I, I had no clue that it would, I would be doing that. But it was all personal use at the time. My, the video that I made, it was all for my personal use only because I had this thing about capturing memories. And I had this thing about wanting to remember everything I did in my life. And so when I would talk in the camera, it was like making me... um. And that, that, it's like it was like for the sole purpose so that way I can help myself remember years down the line when I see my own video what what was in my mind then you know <clears throat> JJ said I was just at snappy taco and Covina have you been there you know I feel like I heard I heard that name somewhere before I heard that name I feel like I heard that name snappy taco i think my brothers used to like to go there if, if i i feel like i remember patrick bateman hi date nathan in my house dj tomorrow huh? to sunday rain tomorrow and i hope it's not gonna rain here louis that's me playing basketball in my pro oh okay <clears throat> okay if i could see the profile close enough oh i'm gonna go on my King Mufasa. Um, when I'm at work, I like shorter days. Uh, yeah, like you meaning like the sun sets early and stuff. Well, I like longer days uh, because the sun stays out longer, you know. I mean, because it feels like I still have that whole day ahead of me when I come home for work. <clears throat> have I ever smoked a cigar? Prince of Persia says that. No, I never have. I'm going to go to YouTube on this, too. I wonder if it's going to show up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if my, I don't even know if my videos are going to show up on this. It doesn't. Live. Okay, yeah, I think it is showing up. I don't know. It's not. <coughs> I'm telling you. Have you ever smoked a survive? Damn, damn. You're going to be 50. Yeah, I'm going to be 54 years old. I'm going to be in great shape. Well, yeah, I I, I try. To, I, have, I have to go to the gym. You know, I have to keep myself in the thing. I have to take off my jacket. It's getting kind of warm in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I have to. I have to do that, man. I have. I have to go to the gym and I have to ride the bike. I have to do that because if I don't, then then I'm gonna start feeling sick. Because at my age, we have to do that, man. We have to exercise when we're when we get older. Because if we don't, then then start something might break down on me. You know, like I mean, like I could start getting unhealthy, and it's not very pleasurable. You know, it's not a pleasure pleasurable feeling. To, to have a, a health problem at, 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 at the age I am. So I want to be sure I'm keeping myself in shape and I'm trying to watch my calories and things like that, you know. I have to. You have to do that when you get older. You have to do that. maybe Or, or let, if you don't want to do it, your body is going to tell you to do it. Your body will let you know. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you that right now. Your body will tell you, I mean, that you need to get out and exercise, you know. Yeah, 
apparently because I start feeling weak and tired and it's unpleasurable like when something like that happens you know like when i'm feeling an element it's unpleasurable to feel that you know so and then that's the body telling me that something needs to be worked on you know and so for me i gotta exercise to to be sure that i'm healthy you know <clears throat> excuse me telling you Oh, Felia Nunez. Hi. Joe Potato, we had America's funniest video or just sharing of friends. And well, I mean, yeah, I remember the funniest videos and America's funniest videos. Well, it, it was kind of like a chance, you know, like to submit any funny video that we had back then to share with the world. That, that was kind of like a sort of like a YouTube back then, you know, but only with some lucky people who would get their videos posted there. <coughs> so Louis one was born in 1993. Patrick Bateman, what's really happening? What's really happening? Well, I don't know what you're referring to. I'm telling you. Jillian Sol, where do you work now? I work in a distribution center and it's a um it's I drive a forklift there. <coughs> Excuse me. Patrick Bateman, what's God's plan for Jordan? Well, I'm not really. We had exercise cures stress, that's for sure. Louis one said, yeah, that's for sure. That's another reason, too, why exercise, too, to stop with the stress, you know. <clears throat> Jillian Forcado. Joe Potato, hi. Anyway. Joe Potato, some people could show their videos on local public access channel, huh? 93 says, what temperature do you keep the house at? Well, I mean, comfortable temperature, you know, 72. I mean, but like if it's cold, we, we turn on the air conditioner when it's hot and we turn on the heater when it's cold, you know, we want to be comfortable, you know. So, yeah, <clears throat> right now the heater is on, so. Mike Hawk says, did you cut off pizza? And well, I cannot exactly do that. It's too hard, man. It's too, it's hard to cut foods that we really love. But mac and cheese, I haven't really had mac and cheese that much lately. But pizza, I mean, yeah. Well, pizza, I mean, it's hard to cut that off, man. It's, still, it's hard, man. It it's just tastes too good to let it go. <coughs> I'm Louis one is 30 years old at 30 years old. Did you have a fine? Well, I did not have body pain at there. I started feeling the aches and pains just in the last maybe 10 years, just in the last 10 years. I've been feeling it, you know, 45, you know, maybe late forties is where I started to feel a little bit. I mean, but right now I, I feel fine. I'm, I do get a little bit of aches, but it, it's not that bad though. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, <clears throat> Excuse me. Garcia family hi. JJ Gil, do you have videos of you attending automotive school after high school? How did you that work out, Andrew? Well, you, uh, well, you, 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 I mean, if you're talking about that, I have a video of me being in auto school. I think it's titled Auto Mode Auto School. You could type in auto skill, auto school, followed by my name. And the video will pop up. In fact, I'll, I'll demo it right now. I'm right. Auto school. Okay, here's the title right here. Like, it shows up on my phone. Auto tune up 1989. <clears throat> this is my video right here. This is my video right here. Auto tune up school 1989. An hour and ten minutes long. I, I never was able to find a job doing that. Apparently, how did a uh, Jillian foreshadow? How did you start recording those old videos? Did you know that you were recording videos? For no, well, I didn't know. I had no idea for YouTube, but but you know what? I had um, <clears throat> but I just had this thing about capturing memories. You know. 
and it was it was all for personal use you know it was all for per, it was originally for personal use hi nathan dj again do you have recorded videos from american it, it's just a, a tiny tiny handful of it and i actually have it posted on youtube 1985 you know like gilbert 1985 but they're just videos from a tv <clears throat> uh, thank you very much um patrick bateman for your gift very good thank you very much telling you julian forsado how do you feel when you watch your videos from well i mean it's fun to watch them you know but it's like when i well, when i look at the videos from the past how i feel and like i think to myself you know i think to myself shit, you know if i could go back to that time i would totally change this or i would totally change that i mean i would i would totally I, that's how i feel about watching my own video i would say man if i was in that time i would tell myself i could totally change this i could totally change that i mean that's what I, that's how i feel about it you know <clears throat> Yeah, Pizza Hut doesn't taste as good as it used. Yeah, I could probably agree with that. I mean, Louis Wan said, I, I kind of agree with that. Street, street Lash, at what moment did you realize you were old? I asked why it happened to my re <laughs> in the 30s. Well, when did I realize I'm old? When did I start? Well, I would say um, when I started, when I was like in the mid 40s, I would say like, Starting like in the mid, going on to the mid forties, when I when well, when I when I started turning into my forty years old, and when I turned, when I was going into mid forty, that's when I feel like I realize I'm old now. I mean, older. I'm older now. You know. <clears throat> Todd Bob, he got here too late. You're not too late. I'm, I'm still here, so I'm telling you, JJ, <laughs> Todd, Bob, <laughs> no Montana. <clears throat> well, I'm still here, so I mean, no one's late if I'm still here, so. Giovanni Flores said, I'm currently 37 also, and then blew my back to, what? You blew your back, well, you harmed yourself. Yeah, you know, I know, you know, it's funny because Hector, my brother, I know Hector had joint pains, like in his 40s, and apparently my brother had operations, you know. He had to get a hip replacement operation. But apparently, I never had to do any. My dad never had any operations. I never had any operations other than the, you know, that cancer that I had, you know, like the testicular cancer that I had back in 2005. <coughs> but I never had, I don't, I don't really have joint pain, but I do get some. It's only like mostly like in the mornings when I barely get up. I feel like pain on the joints. But over time, it goes away. <coughs> Excuse me again. Garcia family, hi. I work at a food manufacturing company, and I drive a forklift and operate. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. It's like this. It's like the same thing I do. I do the same thing. I drive a high reach, though. I drive well. Yeah, it's a forklift, but it's it's just like a really high, uh, high mast where the forks can go real high. That's what I operate. I operate a high reach. I actually have a video of my job on, on YouTube right now. I mean, like wh where I work currently, you know, I, I actually have a video. It's a 360 video, <clears throat> but I don't have a video of me driving, but I do have, I do have driving videos of me driving the forklift. I want I want to put a video like that up. One of these days when I get a chance. 93 said I'm in Chicago and I keep my house at 67 year round. Huh? I can melt at 72. Now I'm telling you. <clears throat> Hi, Louis again. Louis one. How do you 
donate on your stream. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, okay. There, there should be a dollar sign, like at the bottom of your, of your screen, screen there. You could click that, and you could give me, you could give me money right there. <laughs> you could, but I don't know if you have to set up something. I don't know, but I know it's like it's what they say, live chat. I don't know what they call that. Super thanks or something like that. Let me see. I'm not sure. Well, I know there's a good, you, you'll see a dollar sign in the area where you comment, where you could comment. Yeah, and then you could go from there. Yeah, well, thank you very much. <laughs> Telling you. <coughs> Excuse me again. NW Tyrant Bakara. Hi. Oh, now you have this chain, huh? My mom gave me this one for my birthday, for my 50th birthday. <laughs> Giovanni Flores, my, I don't know that word, scal, ticka, nerve is all mad. Yeah. <clears throat> and then people, I guess some people have situations like that sometimes in their 30s or even in their 20s, you know. Apparently, I, I mean, apparently I never had problems like that. I mean, apparently. <clears throat> Giovanni Flores, you saw you live in, uh, in um, Victorville or close to Victorville because that's where my brother lives right now because he's not in Vegas anymore. Uh, thank you very much, M, for for uh, for your uh, uh, gift. Thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Telling you, Straylats, do I personally know any of YouTube followers? Yes, I do. I mean, some of you. I mean, I know, I know, I, I, I don't really meet, I had not met that many though, really. It's only maybe, I could probably count how many I've actually met in person. I would probably, probably say, counted maybe um, <clears throat> 10. I would say 10 in all I met in person. Of course, I'm always thrilled to meet you guys in person, you know. Oh, yeah, I mean, but a lot of, sometimes a lot of you guys are shy, though. I mean, you guys don't need to be shy. I don't fight, you know. I don't fight unless I'm hungry like a lion, you know. Unless you have pizza nearby, then I will bite off the pizza there. <laughs> I'm only playing, I was only playing around there. Gorfin D. Did you graduate high school in 88 or 89? 1989. I graduated high school. <clears throat> Beth. Beth. Hi, I'm Beth. Well, thank you very much for your comment. Tachometer Flack. Deep House. Nice. Well, I like Deep House music. 93, did you ever gamble? So I, yeah, I, I'd done some of those, but I, I don't like to do those, man, because they all guarantee me to lose money, man. I, I rarely do those, though, really. Well, actually, I, it's next to never that I do it anymore. Disney Chick. Dude, hi. Do you ever look at your old weird books and trip on? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the hairstyles. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, I remember them like yesterday. I mean, but if you look and then the video, the ultimately way to remember them, remember those times of looking at my video of the high school. Oh, yeah, big time, man. I remember the outfits that people wore back then. I remember, like, specific, like, New Wave. New Wave was pretty popular at that time, you know, in 1989. Oh, so you do live close to Hector, huh? Maybe you could say hi to Heckler. <laughs> <clears throat> Mike Hawk says, what's my favorite N64 game? I think it was Bad Fur Day, but I, I love that game, and I loved them. Um, I also love the game, um, <clears throat> what do you call that? I loved um, um, uh, the, uh, what's the name of that game? Um, the one with the bear. The, the, it was a, the character bear. What's his name? Uh, Banjo Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie. 
I, I love that game, man. Banjo Kazooie. And then I, I loved Glover. And I loved Raymond, too. But thank you very much, Louie, one for your AK. Okay, wow, that's good. Um, go, glad that you figured out how to donate. Well, thank you very much, Louie, one for your gift. Yeah. So, yeah, that was my favorite game on Nintendo 64. And Louie once said, you're an inspiration of mine. Yeah, well, thank you very much for your comment. <laughs> well, I don't worry about it. I mean, like Louie won, you know I mean? Well, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's just the thought of giving out a gift, you know. I mean, that doesn't matter the amount, you know. Just the thought of um, bothering to <clears throat> telling you. Julian Saul, what does Cynthia and Arnold do? Arnold works in a business, pools, like cleaning pools or something. Cynthia works as a receptionist or something in Kaiser. Lucky Penny number seven. You're good. You're a good man. Well, thank you very much for your comment. Joe Potato says you're going to lose more than you win. Yeah, every time. Guaranteed. You know, you lose more than you win. That's guaranteed every time, man. <clears throat> Hawk says that's a great game. Well, I, I loved Raymond too. I loved that game, man. And Banjo Kazooie. And there was a, a, at least a couple of other games I really loved on that system. I, I love Bad for a Day. I mean, I love that game, man. Glover. I loved Glover. I mean, that, that was so fun to play that game. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I have enough batteries again that I could go ahead and go back in the well lit room. Let me see. Okay, let me see. RGD22, Hulk Hogan, or the Ultimate Warrior? Well, either one, I don't care. <laughs> uh, Disney Chick, what was your favorite toy when you were a kid what was my favorite toy i mean well what can i remember what toy did i love Shit. oh yeah okay <clears throat> excuse me you know what i i you know what toy i really loved back then <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> I, I loved the Lincoln Logs, and I, I loved the Legos. I, I loved my Legos back in the day. I mean, like, I, I think um, Lincoln Logs was probably my favorite toy that I had back then. I loved that toy, I man, I mean, those days. Lego, anything to do with building. Building, is my, they were my favorite toys. JJ says, I really enjoy your high school videos. Well, y'all, thank you very much. For your comment, I like Star Wars, Rogue, Squadron, on N64. <laughs> Star Wars. I, I don't know if I had that game or not. <clears throat> John Marston. Did you get the PlayStation 2 when it came out? Apparently, I never owned a PlayStation 2. No. Hawk says, no, he got the 360 when it... Are you talking about... Uh, the, uh, the, are you talking about the Xbox 360? Well, I got the Xbox 360. I got my first one in, in 2006 or five or something. Christy is my favorite N2 for games or Zelda or King of Time, uh, Mario 64, Bad Fur Day, and Star Wars Shadows and Ban. Yeah, yeah, I mean. I mean, I, I, I love the Mario Brothers 64, too. That was another game. I also really liked the Mario Kart, too. That was kind of fun on the N64. <clears throat> Do I like watching the old 80s? Oh, yeah, big time. The old 80s movies? Oh, yeah, major time. Mike Barker. Louis Wan, Hulk Hogan was the best. I'm telling you. <laughs> that, that was like a big star there, I mean. Starlet, did you like gaining fame on YouTube? Well, I mean, 
Yeah, why not? I mean, well, it's not so much of looking to gain fame, but it's just because it's fun doing this. I was, it's my hobby. This is my hobby. I'm mean, well, putting videos or making videos and p making videos is a hobby. It's a big hobby of mine. So yeah, well, getting fame. Well, it, it's nice to 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 gain some fame because I could be heard. You know, like if I want to say, if I want to have a little something to say, I mean. I mean, it, it's neat to be heard, a, that sort of. I mean, <clears throat> Julian sold my favorite game with Sonic on the Genesis. You know, well, Sonic, I, I like that game too. I mean, now when it comes to the Genesis, I think one of my favorite games was was um Insector X. That was one of my favorite games. RG two two. What was your first horror movie you said? Man. Uh, first horror movie? I think. I don't know. It, it was probably Exorcist, you know, like one in the 70s. I know it's something in the 70s, you know. Joe Potato Wood. <clears throat> yeah, I, I loved the Lincoln Logs. I loved that toy, you know, back in the day. Anything to do with building stuff, especially Legos, you know, like. I love the Legos, you know. JJ, well, thank you for your comment. Beautiful home, Gil. Well, thank you for your comment there. Very nice. Nice. Telling you. Gilbert Espino. Do you collect Hot Wheels cars? I do. Well, <laughs> you know, miraculously, I, I actually am kind of collecting those right now. Yeah, I mean, I actually have a bunch of those cars right now. I mean. Yeah, I mean, I, you know what? I have a bunch of these cars that I bought at, at, at Costco, those 118th scale cars. I have, I have a bunch of those because I actually like to collect those things. I mean, yeah. Good seeing you, Gil. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Gilbert. <laughs> I know your name anyway. <clears throat> and W. Tyrant Gil, you're the only one who drives stick ship. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Well, if you're talking about like my family, like Hector and all, well, they they all can drive stick, you know. But I think I'm the only one who has a stick shift car in, in my family. In my family, if we're talking about like Hector and Arnold and everything. Well, for me, well, no, no, I did not. Uh, Mike Hawk is saying no. I I, I actually bought the I actually bought the Xbox 360 at the at the um costco i didn't buy it on ebay but although i was looking on ebay yeah i actually saw the i mean i actually posted a video of on of launch date of the xbox 360 and they were selling on the average of 800 dollars for for an xbox 360 at the time when they when the actual price was 400 yeah but i didn't buy it on launch date though because I, I was not about to pay 800 dollars for one of those when when it should only be 400 you know so i waited a year i waited it out i mean a year and i and then i bought it at costco and i bought the deal the package deal for like 500 dollars, and it came with an extra controller and and a game or something you know telling you so anyway so yeah <clears throat> I'm telling you, what is my favorite movie? Have I ever met anyone famous? Well, not exactly. And not exactly. I mean, let's see. What's my favorite movie? Right now, I still love the movie. Um, I like the blob, the beware the blob. And I like Flight of the Navigator. And I, I like... um. My, some of my favorite movies is like The Day After, you know, like the about the bombing and stuff. Yeah, that's just some of them, you know. <clears throat> Guardy, Insector, yeah, Insector X. Yeah, I remember that game. I, I like that game on the Genesis. I still, uh, Gilbert says he still has N N Nintendo and Genesis. Well, yeah, I actually still have those. Well, I mean, they're not the same ones, though, but did you? Well, Banjo Kazooie, I was just talking about that. That was my favorite game. 
on Nintendo 64. Ben Gomez. Hi, Ben Gomez, by the way. Louis one. I'm not much of a fan of horror movies. I like comedy. Well, yeah. I like the the movie Vacation. Chevy Chase Vacation. Yeah, Trace and said, yeah, Casino, I believe in that. I mean, they take in 90% more than they give out. I mean, so anyways, let me see. Yeah. Blue Jay Mix. I used to love to play Sonic games on the Sega Genesis back in 2000 as a kid. Oh, yeah, big time. Gordy Owl. Said I have my tennis model three model, yeah. I, the model three, the third one, yeah. When they got smaller and stuff, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember when they started changing the size of the units. It, it was pretty neat on how they did that, you know. So let me see. So anyway. Let me see. Continue. Let me see. Gilbert said nice. I have some that are worth, yeah. Some, yeah. some of those games can actually be worth something right now. I mean, yeah, some of those. <clears throat> Let me see. Straylets, would you like to have had a camcorder before? Oh, yeah, naturally. Hell, yeah. Naturally, I mean. But, I mean, I, mean I, I, I wanted one since the first time I saw one in early 1981. Well, I mean, <coughs> Gordial, getting those 1990s consoles, getting back to work and mon, kind of, yeah, I guess so. Would I ever get a scooter again? Well, pro probably not. But but I would probably I would probably just go for like some kind of electric bicycle. I mean. Just a bicycle, like I would try. I would go for one of those. I mean, and I'm actually even thinking about buying one of those bikes. You know, it's like a real one, like a, a, a electric bicycle. So yeah, I, I'm actually thinking about buying one. <coughs> but 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 a bicycle that I would want would be something that can go more than a hundred miles on a charge. That's what I would want. Something that has some power. That can go like easy twenty miles an hour or twenty five or whatever on the electric power and give me a hundred miles. I would want to buy a bike like that because that that would be perfect. You know, like for times when the gasoline starts getting expensive and stuff, and I don't mind riding a bicycle, you know, to work or something. <clears throat> I'm telling you. Julian so can't drive stick anymore. I'm afraid that God would not be, uh, step on. Uh, telling you, Disney chick. Hey, remember Power 106? Power tools. Do you have? Well, I used to lie to you. I used to listen to Kiss FM and Power 106 and stuff. Oh, yeah, big time. Todd Bob. <laughs> I beat Super Mario Brothers in 1980s. On Nintendo, oh yeah, well, I remember well, big time, you know. <clears throat> well, it's funny because of the Mario Brothers, I beat that game eventually, but the Mario Brothers three is the one that I'm got really good at. But the Mario Brothers, I never really was was a real. I never really got into that game. It's only Mario Brothers three that I really got into. <clears throat> Not even Mario Brothers two. I was really into that game. Let me see. Joe Potato. I had a Chevy Citation and a Chevette with four speed. Yeah, you know, have, have you had that Chevette right now? Chevrolet Chevette. That, that would be a very, very popular car right now. I mean, I don't know about a Citation, but I know a Chevrolet Chevette is a, a very, a, is a highly sought for car right now. That's what I hear. 
In fact, in a Chevrolet Chevette, it was the first car I ever drove ever in my life because in my auto school, like well, when I no when I went to the um uh the the um the driving school in my high school, I drove a Chevette. Yeah, I drove a Chevette, and but it was not a stick; it was automatic. You know, I drove a Chevette in the in the class, and that was the first car that I ever drove like in the streets. So I mean that that was interesting. It was Chevette. I mean, but those cars today, if anyone had a Chevette, that's worth a lot of money right now. I, I don't know why. I don't know why those cars are highly sought for, or I don't know if it, if it actually is or not. But I know the last time I heard, I mean, it's like it was like it was selling for a lot of money, or people are looking for those for our collectors. <clears throat> Hip hop says, "Do you go to?" Sh- uh, Shaky's Pizza in reality, yes, I do. Once in a while, I go there. I know we went there once or twice. I mean, I like Shaky's Pizza, it's good. Yeah. Super Smash Master 43, what's your favorite console? Well, I think the 64 is probably the one that I had the most fun with. That, that was like the one anything Nintendo, I tend to like better than the, all the other consoles. Yeah. Because I like the things to do with Mario Brothers. I like Mario Brothers type games. They're my favorite kind of games. What did I think when 911 happened? Well, I have I have a video uploaded on YouTube on that day when well, my blog that day. I have the video. You just type in 911 Gilbert Arsenega and my videos show up. I have a vlog about it. I'm like, what did I think? And well, I thought, I thought, I mean, I was hoping that there was not going to be some kind of war going on. And I hope, I was hoping that a war was not going to happen now. Shit, man. I was kind of thinking that, you know. What's your favorite holiday? Well, I like, well, my favorite holiday is my birthday. <laughs> well, realistically, I think Christmas is, it's a fun time. <clears throat> Telling you, King Mafasia. What do I think of the president? Which one? I'm neutral. If I don't care, I mean, I have nothing to say about anybody. I mean, I'm new. I'm neutral about presidents. You know, I don't care if they're Democrat or Republican. I don't care. I don't care who's president. I'm I'm neutral. I I don't even think about presidents. You know, like I just want to just go out and ride my bike and just enjoy my days at the beach instead <laughs> telling you did you ever have a sound system in your car well I, I did not used to do that i mean i just you have to just to have a basic stereo a really nice one and some speakers well not nothing particularly expensive but i mean i used to have some nice good speakers on the car and, it, and the system sounded pretty good in my days you know but I never had any major systems like big amps, amplifier. My brother did that. I mean, Arnold did that. Put amps and stuff, you know. But I, I never used to do that. I mean, but I was happy with the standard stereos in the car. I mean, Joe, Janet, does your family watch? The, well, yeah, they do. My family, yes, they do. I mean, on their phones. Yeah, they did. They do. Yeah, I mean, that I know of. Giovan, G, Giovan, Flores, wh- what will you do if your company moves out of state? Well, I mean, I mean, I should probably make a video about this, I mean, about what's going on. Well, then what am I going to do? I mean, I'm just going to work YouTube full-time. <laughs> I'll just work YouTube full-time. I mean, I would say, uh, hopefully that, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not worried about it right now. So anyways, let me see. Straylights, what's your last console? Well, right now we have the, the console we have now is a Switch, Nintendo Switch. And then the Xbox One is the latest one we have right now. I mean, I don't know if we're going to, well, probably eventually we'll buy like, we probably would, this time, the any next console I buy, it's going to be a PlayStation this time, you know, because I always had Xboxes. 
for any next console I buy, it's going to be a PlayStation this time. Because I never owned one before. Never owned a PlayStation before. So. Blue J Mix. Going to get some sleep now. Yeah, I think I think even me, too. <laughs> I'm telling you. <clears throat> Gordy Owlet. Lots of my friends really like the new. Yeah, I, I love Mario. Everything to do with Mario Brothers, you know. I, yeah, I love Mario Brothers type games. Gorfindy, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Very good. I'm glad that you I'm glad to be able to do this right now. Telling you, Bella Marie. Hi. The original blog. Well, yeah, I mean, I was doing I was actually doing it since the 1988. Even before that with the audio cassettes. I was blogging on audio cassettes even before the 80s. And I actually have some uh, some of my audio cassettes uploaded on YouTube right now. I mean, but it's just the sound only, though. Did I attend all four years in North? Yes, I did. Yeah, I, I did. I, I did graduate. But I graduated with a C-plus average. I did not have particularly good grades. I graduated with a C-plus average. Super Smash Master High again. Do you have a Nintendo Switch? Do they they have N64 on there? And uh, do they do they have an N64 on on the on the Switch? I would like to see that. I mean, because the retro. I know. I we have the Switch. Yeah. I mean, but and and then I do have a I do have a game that has I have a cartridge that has a um that has um. Mario 64 and it has a Mario Galaxy on it. I have a cartridge that has those two games on it. So yeah. So anyways, can't keep the computer still here. But there are other but there are other that require Telling you. Cassette decks in your car were mandatory in the well, at least by my standards, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, mandatory in the 80s. Well, I don't know. I mean, was it? Tender Immortal. Always something there to remind me by Naked Eyes and my favorite driving song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Telling you. <clears throat> Disney Chick, what was the best birthday you ever had? And what did you do? What was my best birthday? I think, I think probably one, one of my favorite birthdays was 1983 when I got my shelf stereo system for my birthday ben gomez mr time capsule himself thinks thanks for sharing your video well thank you very much for your comment straight lights gilbert thank you for answering the question i'm going to sleep <laughs> yeah okay i think all of y'all probably will need to sleep huh <laughs> have i ever been to a rave well, i know i've been to some of the clubs I've been to one or two before. Moises. Hi, Moises. We're in the 1940s. A good decade, too. Telling you. Louie one. Good night, Gil. I think, I think I'm probably going to get going myself. I have, to, I have to check that out. Nintendo Switch Online, you know, about the N64 and even Game Boy. And so I have to check that out. JJ, that, no, I, Northview was solely the only high school that I went to. I never went to any others. Gizmo, hi. No, it's all good. Help. Uh, Telling you. Uh-huh. Kenny Wayne, hi. I'm telling you. Well, I guess, I mean, it's already almost four hours I've been on this now. So I, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it the night. In the next minute or so, in the next couple of minutes, because I've been here almost four hours now. So, yeah, so I'm going to call it the night. So, yeah. Uh, good night, Espeno, Gilbert, JJ, Will. <laughs> yeah, he enjoyed hanging out. I mean, maybe I could do this full time when my job does go under. <laughs> I could do this full time, and I'll probably plan on doing this full time. Telling you, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll probably I'll talk about that on another video. I mean, about what's going on and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, a King Mufasa. Okay, I mean, I think that's how we pronounce it, right? That sounds like the Lion King. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> okay, well, I guess I'm going to get going now. So, I mean, I hope you like this one. And I hope I can get myself get myself on this live stream again you know like if i could probably do this every day i mean like like if i if i if my job goes under then i can do this every day i'll have plenty of time for that i mean yeah i'm telling you okay um 93 louis one jj disney chick and uh, gizmo and everybody else so yeah, I'm gonna get going in the next minute or so. So all right, I guess I'm gonna get going now. So yeah. All right. See you in the next and on the ne next one. Uh, Chris D is high. Okay, night. Okay, I'll see ya. In the next on the next one. Philip respond. What's good, Gil? What's good? I'm telling you. Oh man, I'm telling. Well, I guess. Well, I was just about ending the ending. I've been here for almost four hours now. So happy Sunday to you to fill up respond out. I have to get myself on this again. I mean, all right, okay. I'll see you on the next video. All right, okay. <laughs>